welcome That's back. Um, yeah. You Have might I ever told you that timeliness is close oh to godliness? God. In the distance. Zoe's here. She has arrived. Zoe just fucking threw something on In the case anybody else was worried. Oh, here. We're just kind of slowly setting up here. Oh, I'm going to okay. ramble on for about 10 Ramble on! Seconds. Sing my song! Beautiful food. I'll even bam, take a bam, sip bam, of my bam, soup. Mmm. Ramble on! Sexy treats from my... Bam, God, I love bam, clam chowder. Sing my song! Okay. Welcome back to the Woodness Guild. Episode 22. God, I'm getting so amped right now. 22 um, episodes last later. Episode. Here we are. 22 yeah. episodes later. Our last episode. Here I went longer. We are. You did. I should have gone longer. Even longer than I did. Yep. I am in that same boat. But that's okay. Um, I'm saying I'm longer. <clears throat> oh. I'm just longer. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Much longer. Yeah. It's like, like two Tic Tacs, okay? He's it's like long. when you have a truck and it has like big tires. And mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. But it yeah. only has like Directly a single cap. Right. Like it's a single cap. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. We all know. Uh, I think yeah. my truck's the smallest out of everybody that we know. I, I just want to point that out. So. Yeah, either. that's why yours is absolutely. I, I don't own a truck either. Anyways, welcome back to the Witness Guild. This is episode 22. I'm We're going to go over a couple announcements real quick. <laughs> um, below me, you'll see our artwork kind of flash uh, through. Uh, well, right now, below me, Nim T. You can see her. Little she had a birthday recently. Instagram happy birthday account. to Did she? you. Oh, wow. Happy birthday, MT. Uh, like half of our birthdays are at the table, or literally <laughs> in the last week. I feel the best people are born in November. Yeah, November. Hey. Good month. Good month. Uh, but, anyways, follow Nim T on Sorry. Instagram. She's made all of our character of course artwork. Not. It's pretty awesome, if I say It's like a lying zebra. So, I don't know where I'm going with that. Going back in. But, yeah, mm. Nim T. She's sometimes awesome. Blind, Instagram. Check her out. Uh, then False Life Dice, you too, at the end of the table there. Uh, do you have anything <laughs> to say? We're, we're gearing up for a shop up, hopefully sometime before the end of the month, but we'll kind of see. Christmas makes it weird. Yeah, shop drop shipping. Soon. Do you still have nice. dice Super available on Etsy? We have two sets. Two, two sets, and one sets. sets and one singles. Left and one set of singles. How do you guys commission right some shit? Huh? What do you mean to ask you? $3,000. $3,000. No. Especially no. for friends. We do want to start taking on more. <laughs> uh, Ten thousand for DMs named Chris, because that guy can go to hell. I feel you. I feel you. <laughs> on that note, we'll begin our campaign. Uh, we'll be back in a second. Will we? Yeah. Welcome to the guild. The world of Ethway and its 16 regions are a battlefield of chaos. Those that can bring stabilization to this world are known as heroes. The ones fighting for this title today are Voltaire, a true adventurer with a love for combat, looking to help where he can. Nazlith. A shy elf with an affinity for fortune and magic. Budenik, the master artificer. He has two passions, tinkering and being the best. And finally, Willow and Emberly, the divine twins. These Genasi sisters have mastered the art of elemental fighting and protect their kingdom at all costs. Together, this is a powerful group. Will they fight the chaos of Ethway and prevail? Or fall one by one? Find out this week on The Woodness Guild. <laughs> Look up your right. face. That was the and best. welcome oh back. God. So, five fungi, one of which will be sitting here shortly. Um, Three, two fungi right now. Yeah. So I'm dead. Oh yes. So where we left so off. Speaking the boat, of that, Emberly <laughs> uh, died at one point. And then we went on to, um, that, that was in Boltash, 
Um, you guys also happen to meet Garanon in Boltash, so, you know, some goods with bats. Did we? Yeah, we did. Yeah, yeah that's yeah, where you got Garanon. You built a laser. You killed the laser. green Draco Lich um, the first time. And, uh, yeah, you took on pretty mechanical you took on some demon lords and you fucked shit up. You guys moved on. Uh, you eventually made your way through a couple different cities, Doth being uh, the most notable, before ending up in Ground Spire, where you have been kind of investigating why this town seems to be normal. Uh, it's underground. It's well secured. Uh, they argue that they've been defending against Orcus, um, and he has left... Right now, they're just kind of in survival mode. It turns out they betrayed Except us. they weren't in survival mode. They were in, like, everything's normal. It right. turns out Chief Delu um, had a backdoor agreement. Was with the air to, like, like, haha, you can't breathe me now. With the droll the guards, which are the, <laughs> which are the uh, cult that worships the demons. Uh, the Although we're wearing respirators. Yes, it has. Goddamn. Demon group specifically known with Orcus. The Droll Guards infiltrated the city and Chief Dalu and made an agreement that he would give over the city along with uh, the Legion of Elemental Warriors to Orcus um, with the promise that his city would at least survive. You guys would know that as you were teleported by Garion to what would be your battlefield... Um, oh, it's our battlefield. Now. A canyon. So we make the rules? High up in the air. Um, I remember asking a teleport there. At the top of a mesa. And when you were teleported to this location, you guys saw the city of Groundspire get taken over by a very familiar purple green light, knowing that that's the last light that would connect Orcus's bracers to the symbol of Baphomet that is now implanted in Pragnil which is the region all of these cities fall in. As you guys teleported to what is now your battlefield, you kind of looked around. You noticed Orcus high up in the air above you. Uh, before you could take even a couple of steps, you would hear crawling down the wall to your left the Demi Gorgon. Right, right. You didn't see him. But you heard him. You saw him. And you saw the Demigorgon. Uh, the Demigorgon fought well. You guys fought well. Uh, ended up taking out the Demigorgon. Garion has fallen a couple times in this battle. Uh, you guys have managed to pick him up every time so far. Um, Seriously. Towards the end of the Demigorgon fight, uh, a very familiar green Draco Lich came hovering in um, and began attacking you as well, seemingly under the control of Orcus. And as you guys managed to fight both the Demigorgon and the dream green Draco Lich to success, that was a Demi Lich. You watched as. <laughs> Don't fuck me up like that. <laughs> you watched as Orcus began his descent into the canyon, which you guys are not a Draco Gorgon? trapped in. Um, as Orcus makes his descent and begins his battle with you guys, uh, he seems to be much harder than the last three demon lords you have fought. Um, on top of that, he's absolutely destroyed at this point. Unfortunately for you guys, he has manipulated the earth and has moved boulders around. At one point, he crushed Garion, who has made uh, a series of life and death saving throws. Uh, shortly after that, he ran over to Voltaire uh, and I believe struck you down with his wand. Something like that. The rock also did a lot of damage. After you fell and he watched as Nazlith and Willow went over to the rock to pick up Garion once more, he made his way over to the rock. Uh, the rock. And that's where we left off. We're going to pick up from the top of the round. It is the <clears throat> map's turn. I have to do a little... Uh, DM camera work here. Uh, uh, yeah, real hard stuff. Um, hmm. 
seeing everything that's going on, I'm going to need Gudownik to make a dexterity save for me. As the ground underneath you begins shaking, a uh, little unsure of what is occurring underneath your feet, as I don't know if you have been hit by this quite yet. What did you roll? 14. A 14. You do not save, unfortunately. Uh, with a 14, there's going to be a spike of earth that charges up from underneath your feet and launches you about 10 feet in the air as save? you come falling down 16. Is this a, it was a deck save? Never mind. Deck save of 16. Um, <clears throat> you are going to take 56 points of damage. 7 points of bludgeoning damage as you come crashing back down to the earth. Um, and you are now prone next to uh, a fainted bolt hair. Uh, speaking of Voltaire, top of the round, I'm going to need you to roll a death saving throw for me. Okay, first failure coming up. Yep, that's a failure. What is it? Three. Mark one death throw for me. Um, Willow, what are you doing? Um, because I'm I was digging, so I'm going to go ahead and um use. I'm going to go ahead and do um, Spare the Dying. Okay. On, well, have I reached Gary by this point? Um, I thought she had grabbed his tail. At this point, no. So you dug under and you barely saw his hand. There's just a slight warmth to his hand where you can see the snow is kind of melted around it. Okay. Um, He's in snake form, right? He is in snake form, yes. But he has his... Big ass wings right. out, and when he has his wings out, he still has. Uh, right, I just wanted to make sure he's yeah. still. I wasn't sure if he like switched after he died. No. Okay. All she needs to do is touch his hand, though, right? Yeah, she doesn't have to touch him. Yeah, she doesn't have to yeah. take him out. So. He's just gonna be buried. Do I like? So can I? You tell me. Hey, can I reach him though? You are touching his hand at this point. Okay. And literally, all you can see is about a foot and a half of Gary's arm. Okay. So, question. And actually, to reiterate, he would not be in snake form at this time. Now that I'm, yeah, now that I'm redoing that. Uh, yeah, he would have reverted back to his. What um, is his standard? Though? His standard. Uh, it depends plane. on what plane he's on. On your guys' plane, he has a set standard, and that would be his his self that you guys have been walking with. That's the small one. Yes. So, so you would see a normal size hand underneath this rock next to you. So I do have a question. To yep. look inside the bag that I grabbed when Gary dropped. Like, is that, do you, would you cost me an action to look in the bag? Uh, just to look really, because you're actually trying to, like, investigate what's in there. I just want to, like, look and see, uh. Is there, like, a laser beam in there Do or me something? a favor, do me a favor and roll a, um, an investigation check. We'll call so this okay. a bonus action for you. Or would you prefer it be an action? Is that your. Well, I'm, I'm. I, I guess if, if it's gonna cost me, if you want me to cost something it, for, I'm just to do the to do the check. It is gonna cost you. If you just want a quick glance, um, you can, and I will use it as like a free action of, of a quick glance. Yeah, but, can um, I just do a quick glance then. You're not gonna get any kind of detail if you do that. It's gonna be okay. like you're in the midst of battle. You're trying to do something with Gary, and you just kind of quickly check the bag. And as you kind of look in the bag, Willow. You open it up. This black bag is pitch black on the outside. As you open it up, you can't really see anything, but you feel a warmth just hit your face. Um, and, and that's about all you get. Okay. Uh, it, it's pretty pitch black in that bag. Okay. Um, so then what I'll go ahead and do then is for my action, I'll go ahead and do spare dying on um, Gary. Yes, ma'am. And then for... <clears throat> Healing potions, they work as you have to ingest it them. It is going to be an action for you to like... <clears throat> Well, I'm asking you, is he yeah, point he, ingesting, yeah, or can I just ingest. like, nope. bink, he's got to <laughs> fully it. water? Okay. No, he's got to ingest it. All right, so then I'll just go ahead and do that then, so he's stable and stuff, yep. and he's at zero or whatever. Yeah, you stabilize him. He um, had two death throws, by the way. Cool, so he's stabilized. Excellent. Um, so then 
Like when it, when it says stable, does that mean that he then at that point can do something himself? Um, no, like, he's unconscious. No. He's at unconscious at zero point, at basically one HP. Okay, cool. All right, so then I will then go ahead and use um, my bonus action. But I will say that as you like hold his hand and you uh, pump this spell into his hand, you do feel him almost like grab your hand, um, Fuck. just slightly. Damn it. Um, and, and as he kind of like lets go, and you you feel that energy pump through him. You know what? Um, I'll go ahead and do um, YOLO. <laughs> uh, Too soon. Do my healing word. I guess not. To Yolo him. Many times. Okay. <laughs> For how much? Uh, my list for Garion is literally like going up and down this page. So eleven times. points of healing, <clears throat> and then um, my boots are still <clears throat> activated. So yes, I'm going to go ahead oh. and make my moves. I'm going to move. Who has the stone, you or Nazalith? I have the stone. Okay. Yeah, I don't have shit. So yeah. as you make your move, where are you going? Um, I am going to go ahead and um, move. I'm going to make my move to... You're going to make your move to where? Um, I'm going to make my move past Nazalith. And as I'm passing Nazalith... Behind her? This um, way? No, no, I'm going to come this, this way? way towards me. Yeah. Okay, so you're going to climb up this side of this thing. Yeah, next I'm going to go ahead and... That's going to take you 10 feet. What's your movement? My movement right now is 40. Okay, so you're going to get um, another 5. Yeah, so I'm going to drop a coin that I grabbed from Gary off to her. Okay. And then I'm going to head towards um, where... Uh, yeah, this direction, as far as I can. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say that you can get... <clears throat> You're actually going to be about right there. Okay. Um, in Nazlith, as you climb and run up that, you... Uh, what? What'd you say? I didn't do anything. No, I know. But as she, as, as, oh. as Willow climbs and jumps over, you would feel that cold suddenly hit you uh, yet again. Um, what are you doing? Um, so then I'm going to have my um, Celestial. Yep. Um, go ahead and take her. God damn it. And I believe you actually lowered her quite a bit. The last yeah, she, one. Yeah, she's a lot lower. We'll put her on that guy. And I actually found a celestial. Wow. Thank you. That's fantastic. Not a fucking. Uh, yeah. Some type of. I knew I had one. I had no wings. idea where it was, and wow. I did some deep searching. I feel searching. like there's a little bit of uh, antagonistic behavior. <laughs> you don't have wings. It's, no, I mean, it's, you know, no, no, no. you were calling the creature ugly and referred to it as a you hobgoblin. You also have a 3D printer if you ever need a mini. True. There you go. And we have some. Some ends with some other people as well. Um, I'm going to have her move 40 feet. I forgot about that. Which direction? Uh, to, um, to, to Orcus. Orcus, thank you. Yeah. How far will that get her? That'll get her no. to about there. She's not in range, like melee yet. Lula wants a bonus action. And she barked. Um, okay. How far is Nazlith from her? Oh, I get it. Uh. Good. <laughs> 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Okay. About <laughs> 40 feet. Okay, excellent. Um, you know what? Fuck it. Um, I'm gonna have her take her dash then to get to Gary. Sorry, Orcus. Motherfucker. So yeah, Orcus. motherfucker. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And she is now, like, at the chest of Orcus. So that was, so you got me to 40, and then how, could she then move upward, whatever's remaining, if she didn't take the full 80? Yeah, whatever, it, yeah, she yeah. only has about five feet left. That's cool. Um, so yeah, she goes about five feet up as she kind of moves up the chest of Orcus up yeah, to his she's face. she's aiming for, to get closer to the, is it the one with the hammer that, the, with breaker, the bracer was kind of He has a me? wand, and then he has gold bracers on each hand, which, on wrist. Which, was it the wand hand that had little janky bracer? That we were hitting. Oh, the one bracer that you guys hit was his one hand or no one hand? Right hand. No. His wand hand. Yes. Okay. All right. Cool. Excellent. Remember then, we talked um, about, about that? That is ago. it for me. Know, but... That's pretty much where my heart's at now. Okay. But I mean, I'm not here to play your character. So. No, you're fine. Ah, uh, that ends your turn. Uh huh. Right on. 
Next up's gonna be Boudownik. What Perfect. are you doing? I'm gonna bud? roll over and straddle mount uh, Voltaire. Yeah. Um, Voltaire laying on his back as you kind of roll over. Yeah, and yeah. it's a super it, sweet jujitsu move that yeah, I shouldn't you are know, but I'm straight up cowboy on top. Of I'm gonna Voltaire. reach down. Yep. Pull out his potion of healing from the bag. Yep. I'm gonna uncork it, and knowing full well which one's his windpipe and which one's his esophagus from very detailed analysis yeah, I don't and quite a bit of research. <laughs> I'm going to open his jaw, oh, yeah. take the potion, shove it down into his throat and hold it there until it stops glugging and then throw it away and hope he doesn't bite my fingers off. Perfect. Then I'm going to do a nice little like, eh, roll back and I'm going to stand up. No, just like, you know, like, uh, you know, it's, it's like, Cowgirl, and then like it's uncomfortable, so my legs expand oh my outward. When I so like I'm just gonna <clears throat> off it and then stand up or you know half climb, half run towards Orcus, and at the same time, what's your speed? Uh, thirty. So okay, I think you're I only gonna get fifteen about there. Yeah, yeah. How far away am I from my friend? He's mostly in. He's fine. It's just his wings. He that are is out. still in the warmth. I would say perfect. Um, you're you're beginning to start to feel the cold creeping on your like your horns of your head and like the top of your head and your so like, tips of your wings. It's your potion. You would roll the healing, and as you feel him, like, look, 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 he kind of, <gasps> and you would open your eyes to see Boudownik on top of your chest um, as he rolls off behind you, and you just watch him start sprinting directly away from right. you. Right, come on, love, it's time to toss some cabers. Let's go, and just whoop. Perfect. That's gonna end your turn. Next up is going to be Gary, who's under a rock right now that is crushing him. Yeah, He's going to have to make a strength, strength check real quick. Uh, just to try to start moving this moving this rock. He's going to need a miracle. He's going to fail. Um, I would say Nazlith. As you're sitting there, um, and you're the only one in the sight of Gary, you would begin to see his arm. Now it's about the size of you guys as well. He's not in his bigger form. Uh, and he is attempting to, uh, it looks like he's like like attempting to either pull himself out or push this rock off, off of him. It's very hard to tell, but this arm's obviously trying to like get out. Um, and Gary is uh, hurting under there, I will tell you that. Um, I'm gonna roll his damage. Next up is going to be Nazlith. What are you doing? Um, huh? You good? Okay. I don't know if you caught it or not. I don't remember. Did I catch a coin she tossed at me? Um, yeah, she did purposely toss a coin to you. Uh, you guys were right next to each other, so I would almost say that you literally like slipped it in her hand as you kind of got up on the hill uh, and, and ran by. And um, She's our resident wife. Which I know, right? That's beautiful. Uh, and as you kind of stand started. there and you're watching this hand struggle, there's a moment where it just like co collapses. Oh, motherfucking ass. Um. All right. Um. How far is sixty feet away from the rock? If I were to go straight in front of me, kind of like to the. I need you to roll a Constitution check, save for me, real quick, um, because it's cold outside, and I need you to check and make sure that you can handle. What's Constitution save, you said? Yeah. Hey, get out of here. No. Thank you. Nine. That's going to fail. Mm -hmm. You're going to take... 65. I, I unfortunately saw your lich on my damage roll, so... Um, you're going to take... That's a one, though. Five That's a one, bro. Yeah, it's a one. Well, it's on my, it's on my damage dice, not my... Yeah, so it would be one damage. That's it? one of my two dice I'm rolling. Uh, um, one, which is good. Yeah, you're gonna take four points Woo! of damage okay. total. Okay. Simple. Full damage. Marketing. One time you yeah. want to see that symbol. It was yeah. a very, it was a very. I want him to see that. Yeah, symbol. I was just letting you guys know. I oh. saw the false life die symbol. Uh, uh, um, how far do you want to run? Well, how far is sixty feet um, straight out in front of me into the heat zone? Straight out next of the Because you can fly. Out. Well, I'm not gonna. Forty feet to no, Udonix heat zone. 60. 60 feet would give you here. Okay, that triangle of fire. It could get you to basically. <laughs> could, because you can fly. No, the last most session, persistent okay. piece of fire in the my game. Scroll, far stuff. Oh, yes. So I'm going to teleport as my bonus action 60 feet. Oh, okay, to okay. The right, my right of Bananic. Boom! 
Yeah, and you teleport. You can get right next to him in your vision as you um, shoot yourself across. Um, it's teleport, so I wouldn't, it would just be like a blink. Yeah, definitely a blink. Okay. Yeah, yeah. You, the snow underneath you just... And you just kind of ah! pop up right as next a, to Budanic. As a free action, can I quickly look at the coin that, that was put in my hand? You can. Okay. Right. Uh, and as you oh, look shit. at the coin, it is literally a blank coin a about the size of a silver dollar, uh, okay. maybe a little bigger. Just a solid blank coin that looks like it's been handmade. Okay. Um, Ooh, I thought she gave them to him. I. What is the red fire triangle? Is um, somebody, somebody shot a. Flame there, yeah. No, I threw a torch. No, no, no. Oh, yeah, you At threw the a torch beginning, there, somebody yes. a True, flame true, true. There. There's a torch there, which unfortunately is probably on its way out. I, I don't would know. Say. It looks like the most persistent uh, torch I've ever seen. Yeah, yeah. That's kind of what I thought. The size of several bodies. Be, you know, I was like, man, torch, Okay, yeah. so... We're going to say it's starting to go out. In fairness, I, it's only been like 30 seconds. I am going true. to try to cast Guiding Bolt on the bracer that has started to break. Okay, it's going to be the one that's in the wand hand. The wand hand, okay. I'm going to try and cast Guiding Bolt at third level on that. Okay. <clears throat> 12 misses. A 12 is going to miss. Okay, Sorry. Guys. I forgot to circle the bracer okay. damage from last time, but I found it. <sighs> Um, yeah, as you shoot, um, you're far enough away that he watches the bolt come, and he can just, like, gently pulls off out of the way. Um, and that's gonna end Nazla's turn? Um, <laughs> my undead. Oh, yes, your undead my... is right now, um, on this just hill. just trying to beat on his leg or Yeah, <laughs> definitely. As he walks up, um, to the edge of this, I'm gonna have him, like, kind of jump down. Or be like, he's gonna like slowly crawl down uh, and kind of walk over and start attacking, attacking the leg of Orcus. So this is like Hagatha's um, crawl or something, where like there's just this epic like, and there's just this one zombie. Was. He's Hagatha's like, he's gonna climb over the facade. He misses. And jump he, can't down. Even, he can't do that. He misses. <laughs> yeah, and as and as he kind of collapses down uh, off of the um, stone, Orcus is just barely out of his reach. Just, he's kind of like jumping. And trying to like claw at Orcus. Um, that will end your turn. Next up is going to be Orcus. This is where it ends. Sorry. Could be. I was looking at spells earlier, so I'm. Uh, okay. Wasn't on the right. You act like we're not fans. perfect. Um, Orcus is going to take his uh, multi attack. He's gonna um, try to beat the living Christ out of your. Uh, actually, is that thing? Is it? Are you able to melee that thing? Right. Okay. Yeah. He is going to this one you can. take a just solid baseball bat swing at this creature Ooh. as hard as he freaking can. Oh um, well. I'm sure a 27 is probably going to hit. Yeah. Mm -mm. Is no, it actually misses. <laughs> <laughs> and Orcus dies, right? As yeah, a result. Yeah. I no, even got my dice ready this it's time. It's a reaction guys. spell. She casts Avada Kedavra. Avada Kedavra. <laughs> We're already at the I, festival. It's going to take 20 points Tatooine. of bludgeoning <laughs> damage along Princess with... Princess is giving us our awards right, right now. Right, right. You said 20? 20 points of bludgeoning. We hold as hearing. we freeze in the snow. Uh, and another 19 no of necrotic. Goes. As his wand, you watch his wand just come across your creature's spine. Uh, and he drags her about five feet through the air before she kind of lets off the edge of it. Um, and he kind of follows through. Um, come to that. Come to that. Sorry, I lost my thing. How's Orcus looking? Pretty okay. Yeah. Pretty sure he's him. just fine. <clears throat> what kind of pussy shit is this, dude? Uh, he's gonna take one more swing at your creature. Thirty-five misses. <laughs> I have to say these things out loud. I'm sorry. It's part of the game. 
You don't have to smile while doing it, though. Yeah. You know, guys. Uh, you're going to take 23 points of bludgeoning damage. Cool, that's disappeared. Uh, and as he comes across with a second swing, uh, he knocks out your... He doesn't knock out. Yeah, she literally just vanishes into right, yeah, into yeah. air, um, and he's going to take his movement. Actually, is the zombie gonna go with him? Back up that way, yeah. And the zombie's gonna do sit there. He gets an attack of opportunity oh, as Orcus God. flies away. All right, let's see what the fuck happens. Eleven's gonna miss, but as Orcus begins to fly away, you watch as your creature just like reaches out like a baby to its mom. Um, Attempting to just try to grab on uh, for some kind of hope. That is going to end Orcus's turn. Next up is going to be the map. I'm going to need Budownik and Nazlith to roll dexterity saves for me. Not me? No, you are not uh, within their little 10 foot circle. If you're within 10 feet of me, I am conscious now, though you get plus three. <laughs> Last time was not a good roll, this one. Uh, What's the save on the map? Does anybody know? 16, I believe. Seven. Is it really? I think so. 12. 16 is the save. 16. Yeah. Are we, oh wait, am I within 10 feet of... You guys yeah, you are, are 15 feet away. Uh, you sure? I, no, I will no, confirm no, that. No, I can fit two squares in between you guys. Um, Relatively speaking, his feet might be within that... Shut up. I can fit two squares in between you guys, so that's you're more than ten feet away. Um, so we fail. So you both failed. You're gonna take fourteen points of bludgeoning damage each as a um, rock comes flying out of one of the canyon walls and hurls at both of you. You're both now going to be They're prone. Out of the wall now? Uh, that's not the first one that's come out of the wall. Uh, as the, the rock hits both of you, uh, Budownik's almost going to like crash into the back of you as the rock scatters across the earth uh, and, and kind of hits the other side of the canyon wall. Uh, you guys are going to watch as Orcus is kind of making his way Away around. Us because he's a um, fucking pussy. You can't fucking fight us like a real goddamn man. That is going to end his turn. Voltaire, what are you doing? I'm going to take half my movement and stand up. Very slow-like. I'm going to be bleeding from many different areas, I'm sure. And I'm going to say, I didn't hear no bell. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. That's the best meme. And I'm going to amble forward 15 more feet to complete my movement, and I'm going to pull out my bow, and I'm going to try and shoot them. Um, how many feet? I got 30 movement, 15 stand up, 15 move forward. Okay, so now you're right next to uh, Budownik, who's prone to your right. Uh, as you pull out your bow and you're at the feet of Budownik, you let one off. Can I see him, actually? It's, it's kind of uh, it is pitch black uh -huh. Uh -huh. right now. Uh -huh. uh, just an atmosphere check for you guys. Uh, it is fucking cold. Uh, oh, the snow is out. starting to kind great. of pick up under your feet. Whereas There's when this battle right. first started, uh, when this battle first started, you could feel the ground. Now you're starting to feel the crunching under your feet as you're walking, uh, as the snow is picking up. The fungal ceiling, if you will, that is now kind of pouring it over you. Uh, there's some pop, pop marks that you can still see. Uh, you know, parts of the sky behind it, which are clouded over anyways. Um, it is looking rather rough as the wind is now picking up as well over the last couple rounds uh just swirling snow in your guys' face um if you do not have dark vision you cannot see him so you'll be rolling at disadvantage okay so as i'm moving forward then i want to be like does anybody know where the bastard is right there he's right there right oh okay so i'm gonna move point and I'm going to try and aim where he's pointing. And disadvantage, because why not? Oh, hey. Because you don't roll low enough as it is. Hopefully, I don't roll lower than a four on my second one. I didn't. I didn't. I rolled an eight. Uh, yeah. no, so Both I'm those are going to miss. So as you, like, fire off into the dark, you well, have no... Well, just first shot. No freaking clue what happened. Uh, you pull out another bow, cock one back, let it off. Well, that's eight again. 
and you're going to absolutely yeah, not have a clue what the result is. Um, that'll end your turn. Willow. Yeah. What are you doing? Um, I'm going to go ahead and cast um, aid. And I'm going to go ahead and everyone gets um, 10 temporary hit points and immediate 10 points of healing. Everyone? Yep. So here you yourself 10 and then give yourself 10 temporary. Yeah, 10. For, does that do anything to Gary or is that... Um... Nope, he's not within my space. Sorry, Gary. Is he? How, what's your space? The space is 30. He, oh, could his head be a part of that? Might be. <clears throat> he is not in your space. He totally yeah. is. He's totally not. He he's, he's a, a massive small, dude. No, he's not massive. No, no, no. Anymore. He's small right now, oh, okay. and he's still pretty far from you. All right. Um, then, as my um, bonus action, <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and cast. Where to go? Where to go? Hold up. Uh, mass healing word. Yo. You can just use that. Oh, I'm like, is she okay? <laughs> she knows what's up. That's not like death rattles. <laughs> <laughs> Straight up thought of all the dog was dying. That's is what I imagine the army of creatures sounds like when they come at you. Is a bunch of that? Yeah, a ton of that. Is he 60 feet? He is, um... More than 60. You need to record Gary? that sound. Gary. Gary's... 60? About a hundred feet from you. Oh, sorry. Orcus is a hundred feet from you. Gary is 15, 20, 25, 30. Shit. He's, I said I didn't want 35 feet from well, you, but he system. is also through a rock. So if you had to like get up and over or something like no. that. I don't know how the spell works, but that It's way. verbal and it's masculine word. Okay. Cool. Oh my God. Cool. Hmm. Just curious, how many... Ten points of healing. How many spells have you used? I literally in the last only two have... Rounds? Oh, okay, never mind then. No, don't say it. I got you. Uh, bitch, I'm going through this stuff! I no, 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 no. I'm dying! I'm not doing nothing. You guys have... <laughs> you can't keep them away from us and then be like, we're just going to fucking beat the shit out of you with rocks. <laughs> okay. And all you guys get ten points of healing on top of that. Ten more. Yep. So Orc, uh, yeah, I mean, another ten. Uh, Jesus, coming in yeah. strong. Gary gets. So how many Gary, does Gary get? Gary gets just ten. Okay, so Gary's at ten. You guys get twenty total. Twenty total plus healing 10. plus ten, 10 for your match. Or sorry, healing? ten for Roll. temporary, right? It's ten temporary and ten healing. So technically yeah. thirty. So that was an intelligence check for Gary. When I put it under temporary, it added ten. Yeah. He yeah. got a sixteen. Yeah. Twenty permit. 10, He'll 10 be able to get back. Ten of them. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I won't argue. I don't know. That's my understanding. You, you put 20 for healing, and then you put 10 in the temporary. Why 20, though? Because, because she healed did. us I twice. Healed, I healed you twice. For 10. Oh, it's 10 healing and 10 temporary? Yeah. Yes. Okay. That's a and and then, and then yes. another temporary. Yes. Yeah. 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 Yeah is go ahead and um, move myself. If I need to zigzag, I'll zigzag, but I'm gonna pretty much move myself um, to at least give a coin to anyone who didn't get a coin. I'm gonna be moving I believe behind. you got only one person that has a coin. Yeah, so I'm gonna Absolutely. go behind, behind. So as you run behind, yeah, you're, you're, you're gonna There's run behind uh, Voltaire, Voltaire, hand him a coin. Budanic's on the ground. You kind of Budanic. reach down and you just place a coin right on his chest. Um, and where are you going after that? Thank you. Um, and then um, after that, I'm just gonna make my way. I'm gonna use my max, my max, the rest of it. Yeah. Which is my 40 feet. I'm gonna move. Your girl is gonna move back. Okay, I think it's about there, but we. But will making measure. sure my meat people are in front of me. Yep. One. Oh, your boy got that on the spot. Okay. Um. <laughs> that was so cute. He's so excited about moving a character to a position instead uh, of the excitement of like murdering the entire bad. team. Yeah. Um, Friends, yeah. dead. Okay, so you, you move back, and that's going to end your turn. Yeah, um, next up is going to be Budownik and Gary. Yeah, I'm going to use my movement to stand up. 
half movement. I'm then going to use uh, my action to reach down and offer a hand to Nazalith and pull her onto her feet. Yeah, and as you go, you don't even like have to accept it. He, you feel him like reach down and grab you on the back and just, like lift you up and like push you down. I'd like to point to out, fair, I'm actually stronger than him. Just well, saying. To be fair, pretty much anyone could manhandle her. She has negative to her strengths. So. What's your What's your strength score, bro? Tell me what your strength score is, bro. They're Gosh. really flexing right 17. now. This is, the love, this is called a, this is a love. This is a love couple right here. The belt here. of the old dragon string. Okay, guys. Strength. What else are you doing? I am going to uh, pull the cube that is out of or in my in my little receiver. Yeah. Uh, and I'm just going to hand it to you. Um, let's finish this. Yep, let's... And I will take my 15 feet remaining and charge towards uh, dick shit. I'm pretty good at this, so I'm going to guess that's right. It's <laughs> 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 a locked of Orbo skill. Orbo is not moving with me. Oh, you dropped it? I handed it to... Oh, um, Nasa. Jesus. Nasa, right? I no, it you Voltaire. handed it to Voltaire. Because yeah, my name is a Voltaire. Nice to meet you. First time, I suppose. As you begin charging into the darkness. Um, with my dark vision. With your dark totally vision. We, if we have dark Can vision, you? we don't mm -hmm. have disadvantage, okay. right? Depends. Your dark vision is what, 120 feet? Dark vision lets you see out to 120 feet, but yeah. you can only see like really clever things in like 60. 60. No, that's advanced. Uh, Supreme. That's devil sight. Yeah, the, the, Ooh, the stuff that sight. the drow have that's goes to 120. Cool. Normal dark vision is only 60. Okay, so you actually wouldn't be able to really see him. I thought to 120. Um, and with the wind just... dim light to 60. The wind is just howling around. Um, I will say that you do see like a cloud, like a dark, just... There's big, a shape. There's a dark I'm shape just shape. moving out there, and you're just hauling ass towards it. Um, that's going to end your turn. Next up's going to be no, Gary. I wanted to shout at him and just say, like, fight me, you coward. But I was going to make it like a little bit more emphatic. But yeah, I'm okay, shouting. Okay. Fight me. Yeah, yeah you talk to him. I didn't know you wanted to do, yeah. do both. That's my bad. There you go. I'm sorry. <laughs> I always feel so bad. Um, it's not like you stole my chance to be a player. Yeah, I know. Um, <laughs> anywho. <laughs> Regrets. I love you. Love you guys. Um, no matter what happens. <laughs> oh, did your character take that cold damage as well? Oh, he'd be dead then. Okay. He's off the field. He yeah, you would watch as he just melts into the ground there. Um, a he melts from the ice? That's weird. <laughs> um, okay, sorry. Back to where we're at. Gary. Gary, I rolled an intelligence roll for Gary earlier. He succeeded his intelligence check, so he is going to take his turn. I'm and... under a rock. Right. Uh, <laughs> well, that's what's happening. Well, the first time he woke up, he was like, ah! Right? And he's just trying to like fight his way out. Uh, and unfortunately, the rock crushed him. This time, he had a plan. And as soon as he fucking woke back up, he was like, you know. I'm really glad Gary's keeping consciousness throughout his like, right? his spirit's like just lingering. It's like, okay, I know what I'm going to do next time. Yeah. If they revive me. Right. Yeah, he's lingering in limbo right now, his spiritually. You guys don't understand what's happening. With no, no, him. we like, understand enough. Like, he doesn't go home, and that's he's a He's fucking just trapped. <laughs> like, he, there's nothing he can do about it. Can you imagine uh, Gary's life right now? He's like, oh, 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 oh. Much, man. He's, he's just screaming the whole time. He just pops up and... Uh. Wind in my mouth, wind in my face. He's broken Gary. Gary's going to be a different Gary's person. Gary's going to be like, you know what? I don't think I want to be friends with you guys anymore. <laughs> um, Gary. Have you seen a Demon Slayer movie? Oh my god! I, yeah. I just lifted like that. that yeah, yeah pretty Gary. much, dude. <laughs> um, you guys are gonna watch as Gary, Gary. transforms Gary. into a giant. Orcus Final form. Monster. Super Saiyan. Just take them. I have my Gary somewhere, and I'm, I'll find him in a second. Uh, but he teleports, and he's like all of a sudden just like on the fucking back of this guy. Um, <laughs> nobody would really see this except for maybe, maybe Boudonic. What was that flash? You would see just a flash of light, and it would ignite like the back of Orcus, and you'd just see Gary like one horn in hand and like one wing in hand, like standing on the back, yeah. like surfer style. Um, and Gary's gonna roll a strength check. Oh my god! Jesus he succeeds. Um, <laughs> see, I root for Gary. Yeah, um, I'm excited. It means nothing. 
No. You guys know that? He is a flick away. You guys ever seen uh, Atlantis? Literally. Seen Atlantis. No. What? Yeah. The old lady. She's like, we're all gonna die. Yeah. That's yep. in a Disney movie? Yes. Yeah. It's beautiful. Wow. Atlantis? Oh, yeah, Disney yeah. used to have all the Buffalo Gary Ranch. is going to use like his last legendary yeah. action. Gary's using a legendary action. How many? Mm. Wait, yeah. How, how many does Gary have? He just used a... Gary use it? Yeah. Oh, never mind. I don't care then. To heal himself, right? It's work is used as a legendary. I need to know. <laughs> um, and he's going to take... Um, both of his hands are going to turn into like stingers as he just <laughs> plugs them into the back of Orcus's neck. Um, you guys are not really there to see that, but that's what's happening. Thanks for the flavor. Wow. Please be honest. Wow. Plus 16. Wow. Wow. Oh, both will hit. Um, both will wow. hit? What? Yep. Because he's finally rolling the dice, I'm assuming, that are proper. No, it's because no. he has a plus sixteen. Really. Oh, cool. Then, yeah, that helps. That's uh, yeah. that's that's. That if you want to know the that real reason, I think we man. should fight Gary after this. Oh my god! No rest. Fuck no that, long man. rest. I'm just gonna lean, lean in front of Gary and be like, Take uh, me. he's gonna do <laughs> he's gonna do fifteen <laughs> piercing damage. I don't uh, want to be immortal. Is he attacking the bracer? Oh, or is he how, attacking how Orcus? How he's attacking nice Orcus like in the recovery. neck, like the back of his neck. The first one's gonna I'll do fifteen points of damage. <laughs> the second one is going to do uh, fourteen cheese. points of damage. <laughs> Did Gary think to put telepathy back up, or is he too distracted? Uh, no, he did too many things that round to be able to do that. So I said 15 and 14. Rock, ah, uh, boom, god, daggers, ah! Uh. I knew Sorry. it was a stretch, thought I'd ask. Yeah. Teleport! <laughs> hey man, that's a great way to get out from underneath that fucking rock. That's probably the only way. To Perfect. Get out of um, teleporting into the yeah, that was really his only option. I was going to try to make him bigger and see if he could flex the rock off, but then he'd have to flex roll strength and check and like, try to get out of there. And I'm like, this is the only guarantee. Uh, and he would be on the attack. Um, so that's going to end Water. his turn. Next up's going to be Nazlith. What are you doing, Nazlith? Um, if I were to fly 40 feet in the direction of Orcus, how far would that take me within him? Uh, 40 feet into the direction of Orcus. Oh, and I would need... No, never mind. I'm in heat right now. You are. Uh, hey. You heard that. She's obviously. <laughs> Thank you. That was the only one who took that opportunity. Forty's right here. <laughs> okay, so that would put me, what, like 30 feet within him? Uh, five, 25. Okay, so then I would not be at disadvantage. I could see him with my dark vision. Correct. Right okay, so put me there. Yeah, so as you kind of see his shadow, and you begin running towards him as well, uh, he becomes, like, clearly visible to you. Uh, once he breaks that 60 foot plane um, and he's just flapping in the wind you can see Gary on top of his head uh, and Orcus is like like kind of beginning to notice it as Gary's like stabbing in and you're just like right underneath him watching just Gary plug him one right in the neck okay I'm going to attempt to cast Guiding Bolt at 5th level again at the bracer on the one hand definitely I don't know how he works. It might be like a darkness. So there are certain spells that like, like marine layer, where Miss. if you're within five feet of okay. the, the person who cast it, no, you don't, you're not affected by the obscurity. Yeah, it's 20 minutes. But him. with anyone that's outside of that five foot radius, it's okay, like a Okay, on thick a bonus action, I'm gonna doing. teleport back to where I was. Mm -hmm. It's back not necessarily guaranteed darkness for him. Right. Plus he's also invisible. Perfect. That's it. Um, that'll end your turn. Next up is going to be no. Orcus. Um, Orcus is going to take one of his attacks to Gary. Um, he's going to fucking miss, dude. Come on. <laughs> he like literally can't. Yeah, he rolled pretty well as well. Uh, he's going to make contact. Uh, and as he reaches his wand back and just flexes on him, uh, he stabs Gary right in the face. He watches Gary goes unconscious. He just falls. Um, you know what? Every point counts, Gary. He Every falls about counts. 40 feet down uh, and lands on his back. And he's just kind of laying in the snow. Gary's right there. body has to be so um, fucking mangled. It is pretty beat up. It is pretty beat up. Um, 
Orcus is then going to take his movement. Dude, your light's still on you. Is it? Yeah. Oh, I'm going to last for an hour. That's what that fucking that's halo what that is. That's halo is. You should be lit up. I'm there well was lit. A, oh, that's it's what right this there, is? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay, okay. But I was I, like, I don't know what that is. I asked at the beginning of this. Yeah, yeah, well, none of us could figure it out. Yeah, that, yeah, it's light. So I'm casting light. Because there was you a little light. ring around you as yeah. well. Oh, no, it was around uh, Voltaire. Just kidding. Yeah, so that <laughs> light does still Perfect. <sighs> and you're going to watch as he... Comes straight at me, bro. Actually. First, he's going to take one more attack at Gary. Because he's quite tired of this. this. <laughs> I'm like this. My heels have been clicked. These boots or whatever you got me. I'm running. Are you he's running to hit. Nowhere. the mushroom storm above no, us? Just, or the fucking the the basin the that we're trapped in? Away from the boulders. I'll dash. We, we all take the dodge action just yeah. continuously. Just it's constantly just fucking dodging. It's a boring uh, game of poker. Dodge. This is what I'm doing right now. Yeah. My bonus mm-hmm. action. Yeah. Just keep it moving. Okay, um, you're gonna watch as he takes his. Uh, well, really, you're just gonna watch, I guess, Voltaire uh, Budanic as he takes his wand, um, flips it episodes. like execution style, and just crushes Gary's chest into the snow. Um, Gary is now he's not really visible to you at this point. He's in. He's like buried underneath the snow, um, and you can't really see much. Um, you know who didn't take that? Us. Cool. And you watch as then Gary I'm run to keep our meat <laughs> begins making. Um, or you watch as Orcus is like shadow moves very quickly across the land. Uh, that'll end his turn. Next up's going to be the map. Um, on the map, on the map, on the map. No, you're not. <laughs> yeah, it's too far. Um, the map can't do anything because we're out of range of the map. No, you're out of range of that. I'm going to need uh, Voltaire and Nazlith to roll dexterity saves for me. Now I'm within 10 feet of him, aren't I? You so, are within 10 feet so of him. I get, that is plus cocked three. as well, is it not? Huh? That is cocked. That's cocked. Yeah. So I get plus three. For dex, you said? Dex saves. Dexy. 17. Nice. nice. Got 17 as well. Nice. You both nice. succeed. You're going to take three points of damage each as a rock. Does the um, torch have to make a deck save the throw? No, the torch is actually going to be out no! this round. No! Uh, but you're, no! another rock is going to come crashing one. out uh, of the, the side of the canyon and fly at you guys. Uh, you guys both managed to dodge it for the most part, but a uh, little bit of shrapnel uh, ends up hitting you guys. Hurts just a tad. That's going to end the map's turn. Next up's going to be Voltaire. What are you doing? I'm going to ask Nazla, do you know where he is? Can I see him from here? You have a shadow view of him. Like, you see his just, like, literally a black blob I would just kind of gently turn Voltaire to face the direction. Yeah. And I'm going to full-on dash 60 feet at him. And I'm going to pull out my, uh, my leave. Leave. Sixty, you're gonna be in melee. That's fine. <clears throat> Take his fun circle with him too. And then I'm going to. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, yeah, my heat circle comes with me. Yes, yes it does. Yes, yes it. Holy shit! You fucking made it all the way over there. A dash. Oh. But now he can't do anything else unless he has a bonus action. Uh, Sounds I'm, like he does. I'm going to bonus action, shield of faith. Okay. And give myself plus two. My own I have this rotten egg ready to pop off. Perfect. <laughs> um, and as you get that, speaking of rotten egg, as you get that close to him, uh, you'll begin to notice that his skin is like starting to smell like just like rotten flesh. Just like rank, decaying flesh as you kind of get within melee of him. Um. Perfect. Willow, what are you doing? She's a runner. She's a track star. She's gonna fucking dash her ass. <laughs> <laughs> fucking straight Love beeline. <laughs> yeah. No, not hell no, man. Hell no. Nah, no, that's there. Aim that way. Nazareth. 
That is... No. Do you have dark vision? No, I don't. I'm just running. Okay. Um, 5, 10, 15, 20, 15, I have... 30, 30, 30, 40, 40, 40, 50, 50, 50, 60. No, 80. That should be the whole thing. But can I do it at an angle where I'm like... I want to be on the outskirts of the light on this way, away from that. Yeah, she doesn't there. need dark vision necessarily the, to see me. The Everybody can see. No, no. Thing. So part of the, map. the way I'm doing this is um, Truly, as a DM because it would yeah, be hard for you to kind of tell even where your teammates are. At this yeah, point. no, I'm just wondering. Um, like you would have no idea, but you would have seen the glowing light that is around Budownik. That's even yeah. from the kind of the distance you're at. It would be it would be very faint, but you would see it. Um, yo. The crinkling. Yeah, up on the, the one time right I did editing and it was, uh, we were eating the on top, time. it was rough. Um, uh, so that's my thing. Um, and so, no, reactions I don't have to hold any. It was ASMR. <laughs> <laughs> right. uh, but yeah, cool. Uh, uh, let me just double check. Is your light a heat source as well? No, it well, then, isn't. Can I sco scotch over knowing that? Just. Um, yeah, I would say that you can get within his heat element. Cool. Like, put your heat element. Well, no, my, in you his. can get in mine. Yep. Yeah. Um, okay, cool, awesome. Then, uh, yeah, that's exactly what I'm going to do. Okay, and that'll end your turn. Next up's going to be Budownik. What are you doing? Dingari and then. <clears throat> I'm going to run and run and run. Yep. Not 30 sure. feet. And as I'm running, I'm going to shout. You're nothing but a smear on a peer-reviewed journal to me, you worthless piece of slimy cockroach filth! Fight me! Yep, and you're like right behind uh, Voltaire. You kind of enter Voltaire's heat. Perfect. Um, but I'm not within... Am I within 15 feet of the bracers at this point? Probably not. No, he's kind of floating about 10. His, like literally the bottom of his feet are probably 5 feet off the ground. Okay, perfect. So what I would like to do then is take a running leap at the back of Voltaire. Oh, I'm ready to totally spring him up. <laughs> and just literally like springboard action. I want to grab onto so you're using, what are the you doing? wand or you're I want running to run, and jumping. Jump, push off the back of uh, Voltaire. Who okay. Likely. Do me a favor me. and roll either an acrobatics. Or a athletics, athletics check. Can I help for him me. since I'm literally uh, him? You, I need you to roll a strength check for me. That's one thing I'm good at. Yeah. Just fucking plow into the back of him. Just are, you using, are you using your uh, action to, to, to dash? dash? Yes. 26. 15. Okay, so with, with a 20. Six. Um, there's a moment where you are yelling at Orcus. Voltaire hears you and turns. And you and Voltaire I understood the assignment. have <laughs> quite understood the connection. The Just oh, mentally. Dude. You guys are... We have chemistry. You guys have chemistry. Yeah. Um, and you kind of like... Looks like we had a password. As right? you kind of look before. down at Voltaire, um, like just at his knee, uh, Voltaire like just gets down... On puts a knee. puts a hand on the Perfect knee, time. jumps and just, whoom! Uh, because he rolled so well, he launches you up. Um, I would say that you get about ten feet up, which is about to his chest level. I'm just trying to grab onto a surface. I was hoping for the wand. If I can't grab onto make the a wand, strength I'm check for me. For I'm going to make a check it. for him to see where, like, what you're gonna grab, basically. A strength check. Make a strength check for me. I'm gonna... What'd you roll? 22, baby. With a 22. Um, grab a little snack. <laughs> unfortunately, you're not being able to grab the wand. The wand is currently um, up in the air. Uh, his hands are kind of away from his body at this time. But you do manage to grab onto him. Uh, you sink a hand. like You kind of like start feeling his chest as you get launched up. Like you're almost like running up his chest, you know, with your hands. And you notice that his chest, you can almost sink into it. Ugh. And as you feel it, you kind of get up to the crest of his chest as it kind of gets up towards his head. And you just latch. 
And you are now grabbing in his flesh as you kick both feet in to his flesh. What is Budownik doing? Budownik is disgusted. <laughs> um, Budownik doesn't work with poop for a living, so Budownik is like just... He's not jaded. He's <laughs> not jaded. Smells bother him. This is not okay. Uh... Would you allow me? No, that would be cheating. I mean, Your turn, I. He gave us. I have. I think casting magic level. stone is a bonus <laughs> action. Okay. Which I did earlier in the Where game. Yeah. Could I, <coughs> in theory, just the smash as a bonus action? I don't know how you would play that. So casting it is a bonus action. I don't know if using it necessarily is a bonus action, but. You, know I mean? you, know, but you probably would not be so. able to use them. It's kind of like the druid thing where you, when you turn into an animal, you can't use it unless you're a moon druid. You or someone else can make a ranged spell attack with one of the pebbles by throwing it or hurling it with a sling. That would be a ranged spell attack. So that's a, that's an attack. Okay. So Fair as enough. a bonus action, you could do it. Like, you could cast it. I could cast something. it, sure. Um, I am going to just... How about this? Gross. This is gross. <laughs> I am going to shove with all 21 of my strength score. Oh, I think it's a 21 fingers. I'm like, I'm sorry, what? Mm -hmm. Pop Toes, man. Toes is... Weird. <laughs> Where's your extra The question finger? is, which one has, you know, 11 and which one has 10? <laughs> um, yeah. I'm just going mean, to force you my fingers it. inward towards where I believe his heart would be. Okay. Uh, and I'm just gonna try and embed myself like some sort of do parasite one more deep favor. onto him. Roll. This is gonna be a, kind of an in-depth turn for you. I'm gonna need you to roll uh, first an intelligence check, second a strength check. Guys, my heart's beating through the fucking <laughs> moon right now. 111 beats, guys. Um, oh, man. Jeez. Sitting at the table doing nothing. Uh, 22 for the intelligence. <laughs> Eight for the strength. So as you uh, are on his chest, you kind of manage to climb over to where Can you I, like, think a rib? the heart is. You are sunk in. Uh, as you kind of push in, you just feel something hard. And you're kind of trying to, right now, in this very moment, trying to like feel your way around whatever is hard. Mm -hmm. um, that's where we're going to leave it's his sternum. you. It's his penis. Um, Up in his chest. His penis is in his chest. He's got to put it somewhere. I mean, Weird anatomy, right? Thing. I think men actually have an inch of dick inside of them. No, it's like three or four. That will end your yeah. turn. Yeah. Next up is going to be Gary. And then Nazlis on deck. Uh, uh, Gary uh, is like going to roll. Direction. It's like a hard bone that points straight at the ground. All right, Naz, what's your turn? Oh, what happened to Gary? Oh, he just rolled up death save? Okay. Help is on the way! Okay, I I'm will... Just running. Gary's um, not doing well, guys. If he got attacked at point blank, he took two death saves. Yeah. I will fly 40 feet towards Orcus again. So sorry. This is stress all enough. Okay. I'm going to try and cast Guiding Bolt again at third level this time. Okay, at the bracer? Yes. Yes. Same thing. Damn it. Uh, and yeah, you cast well, it again. Is the bracer have a different hit? Uh, slightly. Okay, it would be 18 to hit. That does not. Okay, so it's a 19 to hit. <laughs> oh, <laughs> slightly. I'm, I'm tired of, I keep rolling 11s. Yes. Um, man, man. Yeah, oh, rolling bad. Ooh, ooh, ah, ooh, I feel ah, ooh. Oh, gosh. Um, ah. I will. I will teleport into the heat. Wait, hold on. Okay, and because you started out of heat, I actually need you to roll a Constitution save for me. With Willem. Oh, um, you're going back with me. Yeah. She has dark vision. She, she also. Oh, okay. Shit. I'm running. <laughs> um. She sees you. Yeah. You said Constitution. Yeah, roll a con save for me. 
I rolled another 11, guys. It's You're, um 12. Gonna what take nine fun? points. Same dice? Mm -hmm. Pick a different dice. This, this ice oh. cream is out. Why did you do a con save? Huh? Because it's cold. She started outside the cold. How many points? She started outside. She, she teleported in. in. Okay. The rule is if you start outside. How, how many question. points of damage? At the start of your how turn. I'm not here to contest with you, God. What did you say? How many points of damage? Um, nine. Jesus. Wah, wah. Out of everybody here, though, I think you had the most. Um, that ends your turn. Next up is going to be the big bad guy who is going to... Um. You have two guys. Yep, he's going to attempt Nipple to um. <sighs> well. Tablet. Good job, Tover. Oh, <clears throat> yeah, yeah. I know what's going on. Um, no, it's my family chat. Oh, sure. I have family. This family? Um, family. You will all hear. We're not, we're not the family you were born into. In your guys' heads. The family you chose. Um, Did I? You were all filled the endless suffering. That will be echoed through all of time. Known as the coward I'm sorry, could you repeat that? I can't. Defeat There's like a. Fuck you have like yeah. a list? We're all I just blocked him out of my head. Yeah, I'm definitely. It. It's uh, like a list? Could you, and he's going to try to take you. And, uh, he's going to try. For, for flavor, he's going to try to basically pry you off of his chest using his wand, but it's going to come in as a a bludgeoning swing on you. Um, is he prying or is he hitting? He's hitting. So he's not prying. Correct. So I'm not likely to lose my grip. Yep. Because if he's going like, eh, we'll, eh. We'll, we'll get to that. We'll get to that. He's uh, got like 55 <clears throat> attacks, so. Just on this thought process here, you know, I'm wondering where we went wrong. We oh, said uh, no. Way back in the day when Chris said it's my turn to DM, that's where we went wrong. That's yeah. where we went wrong. His intent we is to fucking kill us. Yeah, yeah. So we should have all it. played Radiant Clerics. Right. Right. <laughs> right. Yeah. Um, we should have let me DM next. We'll turn to sour to be on the So here's what he is going to do. The part where we really fucked up is we were like, we don't want to bring Lo with us. With his first hit, um, he's going to hit yeah, you. Yeah. It's going to be a... Is he at disadvantage? It's, it's a 21. 21 like 21. Yeah, it hits. Um, as he hits, you, you Was managed... Was that a 2? You managed to hold yes. on very, very tightly. Uh, as Yeah, he, I'm reaching. If there's something hard in there, I'm putting fingers around it as best I can, and I'm holding on with every ounce of... If you're who I hit, am and all of my training. Like he's, he's pushing is he, you into you're gonna take myself? 21 points of bludgeoning damage. He's, he's pushing you in. Yeah, is he is he driving me into his body? Like no, he's taking you and just being like, boom, From like just like a side punch. <laughs> but with his wand. Um, yeah, did you hear that? The sound of my hip. No, breaking? the damage I told you. No. Um, 21. 21 points of bludgeoning damage. Gotcha. Fuck this shit. Don't need it. <laughs> Don't want it. Nine it points. Is. Nine points of necrotic damage. Um, Fuck off. Perfect. Um, he's gonna take his second attack uh, to this time try to rip you off of his chest and throw you as far as he possibly can. Um, I need you to roll a strength check. For me. Demonic voice, he says, you need to be a 21. <laughs> Doable. <laughs> Doable. 21. Oh, God. Is he 10 feet? Woo! 20! Fuck! 3! What the fuck? Fuck! Give a fuck! Fuck! <laughs> so Orcus is reaching down into his chest, 
trying you, pulling you off as you are just stuck into him as hard as you can. Um, he's got his wand in his other hand. Um, he's going to take his legendary action to choose to oh succeed. Oh my gosh. And he's going to swing. It's going to be his last one, though. Well, how many are we at? He's going to swing his tail at... I don't have his. I have Demogorgon's. Voltaire. That's three. That is three legendary actions for Orcus. Yes, sir. Uh, as long as he doesn't have 55, we're good. Ooh. Voltaire, that's going to hit. I don't want to tell you. He rolled a 19. Um, 38. I hate when he does that. I was like, 19? Shield, bro. No, plus... Plus 19. Okay, um, so you are going to take twenty-four points of bludgeoning damage. Oh my god, dude! And and twelve points of necrotic damage uh, as he one, as one, one, while he one. has um, just keep a track of you, babe. <laughs> while he has. <laughs> Um, no, 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 no. <laughs> While he has Brudownik in one hand, uh, trying to pry him off of his chest and, and beat him, he comes whipping around with his tail he across comes. the ground. You don't see it. It just beats the living Christ out of you. Um, that will end his turn. Next up's going to be the map. I'm going to need Nazlith and Willow to roll dexterity saves for me. Oh, God. Twenty-one. Nat twenty. Nice. Fuck you, probably, bitch. You guys are gonna take four me. points of cold damage. That's fine. Not My girls. Oh, not cold damage. I'm sorry. The As girls. the earth. The um, girls. Actually, What's we're gonna go with the theme of a, a rock Water. comes flying out of nowhere. You guys actually, at this point, it's too dark for you to see where these are coming from. Uh, but as it comes you into see your, me. as it comes into your view, Nazlith, you kind of see it before Willow does it. She doesn't have dark vision. Nope. And you kind of pull her back, and it just barely scratches both of you uh, as you take a little bit of damage. Um, and you kind of stand her back up, and you guys are continue on your run. Um, Question: Because I'm lit up like a holy fucking beacon. Yeah. Yeah. Does that mean that the disadvantage on attacking that guy goes away? For your darkness, yes. For their darkness. So anyone within your your beacon. But like even outside the beacon, wouldn't you be able to see the light source? If they it, so with it, if they're within, um, so the way I'm gonna DM this is if they're within. If they're within the correct feet of the light source, so like she has dark vision, if she can see um, the 60 feet, if that light source is within that 60 feet, then yes, she'll be able to see it. If it's outside that 60 feet, she'll be able to see the light source, but not really what's in it. Uh, it'll be kind of like blurry. But if you shot I'm gonna at judge the light that, source. I'm going to judge that based on the distance outside of that, but we'll get there. If we get there. Yep. Yep. Um, that'll end the map's turn. Next up's going to be Voltaire. What are you doing, bud? Uh, this, aside from coughing up a lot of blood, <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm going to... The testicle ascended. Deep, reach deep within myself, and I'm going to let out the most primordial... <laughs> Dying. And I'm going to shoot my um, breath at his uh, Nuts. bracer. Oh, okay. No. As you're kind of underneath him, uh, you almost have to like time this. And as you let off your roar, you see his hand with the wand come over the top of your head. You fire one off. And you have to make a dexterity saving throw. Ooh. Oh, okay. 16. It's a 15. Uh, but you do take half damage. And I rolled... 16, so 8 damage to the bracer. Okay, perfect. Light uh, and the way I'm going to do that, this, because um, you're aiming at a very specific object as it's kind of moving. In theory, mm -hmm. I can make you roll at like disadvantage for things like this. I don't want to do that. The way I'm going to judge this is it's going to take, uh, he's going to take half that damage and the bracer's going to take half that damage. As you kind of like fire it up, you hit him fully. 
but it's hard for you to judge the bracer. If he would have failed that, I would have let you hit the whole thing. Put so it four points to the bracer. He's going to four points to the bracer, four points to Orcus. Uh, is how I'm going to judge that one based off the Is the, the bracer. Rules. How's it Res- looking? You're resistant. <laughs> what kind of energy was that? Lightning. Lightning. Okay. It's a big metallic bracer. So he's taking that. two damage. Um, correct. Correct. Does the bracer let off like a, a No, you rolled 16. Kind right. Of eight, so it's four to the bracer, four to Orcus. But he has resistance. Oh. The bracer, you would notice, takes the full damage. Um, it's hard to tell That's from your... Fun. As it moves okay. very quickly above your head, about um, 15 feet, uh... It's hard to tell what it looks like at this point. Um, that's going to end your turn. Willow's on deck. Willow's on deck. On deck, or she's going? I'm going to bonus action. Or no, wait, that's not a bonus action. Yeah, I'm going to bonus action Thunderous Smite. And uh, they're just going to start to hear my glaive give off a little pop of thunder. As it gains a thunderous energy for my next attack. Okay, perfect. Yeah, little thunder, thunderous uh, sounds coming from Feel your weapon. Um, Willow, what are you doing? Moving at, to Gary. As you're beginning to watch that this, still be lining that direction. Okay, what is your movement? Forty. I'm the blue person. Yep. Are you? I thought you were the orange. Oh. What? No. Um, you're what? still about um, ten. Ten. Gary's ten feet in front of you. So hard to tell them apart. That's true. They're like identical. Okay. Except the one's dead. Remember that one time? I um, think it was that one time where we saw their joint attack. That one time. I'm gonna go ahead and do. I, so I guess I'll just up use to my action. I'll just use my action to dash to get the last couple of feet. Yep. And you get up to Gary's side. Yeah. And then um, I'm going to go ahead and do a quick, like, um, tap, and I'm going to do cure wounds. Um, or is he, no, He's is he in death rows right now? Do me a favor and, and roll a perception check. Oh, he's dead. He's dead. He's is he, is dead, he dead, 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 dead? God dead. damn it. He's dead. Can't have nice things. 18. Like Gary. Uh, like a plus two blade. As you kind of like reach down to Gary um, and, and begin to attempt to heal him. Um, well, can I notice if he's dead, dead before I try to heal Yeah, you, yep, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Um, you kind of roll him over and flip him to his side. His arm kind of lays out. Um, and you All kind right, of so put your head to his chest. Okay. You don't feel Fuck. Gary breathing. Or, Breathe. Can I go in the That's, go in the bag he's a devil. real you don't quick? Feel the demonic exhalation. Uh, check in the bag. When you open up the bag, it is again just a dark, dark hole. Roll a. Um, I'll use my bonus sh- action if you want. To. Yeah. What do I want you to roll? I just want to roll, roll an intelligence check for me. Just a basic intelligence check. That's your strong suit, right? What about history eh. or religion? Yeah. Or roll medicine? In, roll I'm a medicine in, check. Medicine. Roll an intelligence check. I like history more. Mm, no. No. As you kind of look into the bag, it is just a... Like, That's perception. The color of the bag on the outside is the darkest black right. you have ever seen. And as you kind of like look into the bag and feel the heat pouring off of it, um, it's like the same exact color as the outside of the bag. You're Can kind you of unsure. Uh, of what's happening. And as you stick your hand in, you feel your hand get probably 80 degrees warmer, Jump 90 degrees bag. warmer. <laughs> get the Stick bag, your bitch. hand in there. Um, but, uh, going inside bags is usually not a great idea, guys. <laughs> well, the is Jump inside a bag of holding, you, you die instantly, and you lost the astral plane. Gary, in the bag, just, that new monster. can I hmm? maneuver like, that new monster his head in the bag? I'll tell you that. Um, that would take an that would take an action to kind of do all of all which that kind of thing. Use my uh, shit. I don't. I would. I had. A, I have action bonus action. Oh, I use dash to get there. Do me a favor. Roll a Constitution save for me. Your arm burns off. Where you get sucked into the bag. Nine. As you're kind of um, putting your hand into this <laughs> bag, you begin feeling um, like. 
you've had a bag of holding before. You kind of know how yeah, that the feels. Holding. You kind of know how that feels to stick your hand in. <laughs> Um, this almost feels like when you stick your hand in, it heavily resists you. Would you roll? Oh, fuck. I don't fucking... A nine. Nine? Nine. Um, and you are going to take, um, <laughs> nine <laughs> points of nine. damage. Um. Okay. Okay. Now the bag's betraying us. And this is going to be, um, a necrotic damage. The next thing you do. And it's some kind of... You, show you, you... Attack us next. That's what I'm going to say. <laughs> okay. Um, can I use the rest of my dash movement to, like, drag Gary's body? Um, yeah, so you're going to be moving at half speed. Cool. It took you 10 feet to get there. So um, I have 30? You would have 30 so feet, so 15. 15. Can uh, you move me back to where I came from? Yep. And I'm going to yell... Gary's dead! <laughs> As you are, like, kind of uh, dragging him. Yeah, um, just dragging him. And pulling him backwards. Uh, and then I, can I kind of hunker down to close to the ground just to hold him or something? As best you can. You're kind of yeah. pulling him, so you're okay. already, like, kind of hunkered, cool. but as best you can. Uh, to be honest, you wouldn't be able to see very much at this point in time. Uh, the fact that you found Gary is a miracle. I just to ran. To be honest with you. Uh, Chose direction. So yes, we'll end your turn there. Uh, Budanic, what are you doing? Is there at any point in time a end to this stony surface that I can feel and just kind of put my hands behind like this? Uh, a big monster. Do me one more favor, roll a strike check. For why? Are you an Orcus? I'm on Orcus. And you're trying to, uh, like... I'm just trying to see... I'm not trying to... I'm just... You're trying this to is deeper. delicacy. This is just delicacy. I'm just looking for an edge. I'll let you roll a medicine check if you want. Okay. Um, medicine is not my strong suit. Then why didn't you go with a strength check? Because I, I don't want to push my arms I, I will deeper. say that as you kind of, like, move, uh, like, try to puncture him, um, you don't really... Cool. find the best of grooves. Like, you find a groove, you stick your hand in, it only goes in a couple inches. You can't Perfect. find another That's good same. enough for me. I'll just stick my, you know, little, okay. little finger The couple inches to, yep. to grip. And I'm just going to focus and cast Thunder Wave. Perfect. And he needs to make a con save. Out of curiosity, are the bracers within 15 feet of me? I ask in a high pitch. Um, yeah, they'd be within the 15. Perfect. I need both of them to make con saves as well. Feet range. Uh, his con save is going to be a 12. Fails. Uh, the first bracer is going to be a 14. Fails. Oh, The second bracer is going to be a 16. Fails. They all roll really bad. They take seven points of thunder, specifically feel the thunder damage, and I'm hoping at least for flavor's sake, some of his body parts kind of, you know, slough off because he's gross and shit. Yeah, as you um, fire off a thunder blast into his chest, you do feel um, like, it's almost like a, a like the thickest gelatinous meat you've ever felt. Um, and as you kind of send the thunder wave through his chest, within the three feet in front of your face, just kind of blows back and it hits you just boom! Uh, as he kind of blasts off of his chest, um, his bracers and his hands seem to like fly backwards. Uh, it's kind of hard to tell to see what also, happened. Also, anything that's not secured within that 15 feet would be blown away. So I don't know if his wand counts as unsecured, but... It would be secured. Okay. I'll let him roll a strength. It's secured. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. that, you guys see that? That right there was one of those... Like, I didn't even have to I'm check I'm not going to argue with him. I'm just going to roll no, 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 no. It is secured. I was going to... See, I, that was no, a serious okay. roll. He rolled an 18. How are the bracers looking? You've got a plus. Um, you can roll a perception check if you would like. Sure would. Ew. Well, yeah, and as you uh, are kind of looking at the wand to see what's up with that, you look at the bracer in the wand hand, you do see a fairly large crack uh, in the under portion of it. 
Um, cool. But it's still holding solid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It doesn't look like it hasn't crack has reached yet. either of the edges. It's like almost down the center <sighs> of it. Um, that'll end your turn. Next up is going to be... Orbit. Gary, um, Nazleth, what are you doing? Um... Gary, oh no, he's dead. Like Emberly. <laughs> I'm going to try and cast Guiding Bolt again, third level, at the Bracer. Oh, thank God. 25 to hit the Bracer. Yeah. Hits. Okay, so I did it at third level. So you hear? Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Mike from the bathroom. Okay. Nineteen like points of radiant damage. Yes. <laughs> Mike, I love you. <laughs> I'm here. I'm a hype man, baby. Perfect. Um, and then whoever tries to attack it next has advantage on it. Yeah. Do not forget that it also is glowing because of the radiant damage. That wasn't the top of your, okay. That wasn't the top of your, you were no, good. The heat is mine. You were, no, you were in the heat and then you moved out of no, it. I have the heat. You no, have the heat? hers. The heat's mine. Oh, the Nazlet. I need you to roll. I wasn't going to say shit and then he started looking at me. <laughs> I need you to roll a constitution save for me. I was gonna let it go. I, I was gonna cheat there. Sorry. I was gonna let it go. It hits me. What do you have? For some reason, when I roll for her, I, I roll pretty bad every time. Um, five points of cold damage. Okay, whatever. As okay. you um, feel the frost <laughs> really start to build up on you. I'm gonna um, bonus action over, mm. bonus action far step over <laughs> to Willow. I'll, I'll, I'll stay there then. I won't move. Well, you're fine. Well, next time I move, you know, <laughs> I leave you, so I'll just, I'll hang out. Um, and as you kind of step over to Willow, um, you pretty good passive. Um, you kind of look down at Gary, um, and you see that he's beginning to, like, turn pretty dark and oh, ashy looking. Oh, shit, um, fucking tit lickers. I swear to God, if Gary gets up and fucking starts fighting us, I'm going to kill somebody. <gasps> Don't put that out there. What? DM, DM takes him. <laughs> I love that meme. Um, that'll end your turn. Yes. Oh, I'm right about on. to chop this motherfucker. Next up is going you yell to that. you yell it, and I'm hacking. Be Orcus. Uh, Orcus again is going to try to grab you off of his chest and throw you oh, with a no. different dice. No. Roll a strength save for me. <laughs> now we're about Gary. I'm dragging his body. Save 26, if that's possible for you. It's a 26. Anything is possible. Uh, Orcus finally, with his um, left hand, rips you out of his chest. You kind of like are dangling up in the air. Um, and he's going to hurl you. Um, Told you you were a bear. <laughs> he rolled a pretty good strength. I'm actually going to see how far he rolled. Yeah, not that far. Maybe he'll throw you outside of the arena. Um, as he throws <laughs> you, <laughs> you um, Somebody help us. Your fall prone <laughs> and take... Hello there, bitches. Wow. Roll really low on that one. Nine points of bludgeoning damage as you hit the ground and kind of slide into the snow. Um, and snow begins to like cover your face and shoulders no, as you're laying there. And your feet are basically the only thing sticking out right now. <laughs> um, he's going to take a second attack on you, Voltaire. Cool. 26. <gasps> I react with my shield egg and I shield and I say, no. Perfect. Um, as he comes down with his wand to um, hit you, 
I throw a rotten egg at him. You use your me. you use your reaction <laughs> and right. see his hand coming down and kind of just hurl this egg up at it and he kind of hits him in the hand and as it does it lets off almost like a popping explosion kind of pops his hand backwards and out of place and he kind of swings and misses and you um, and you begin to smell a rancid smell similar to the smell that's already Orcus. Um, that'll end. Hmm. No, well. He's going to let you take an attack of opportunity on him. Mother! As he begins to move. Uh, and he's actually going to make it to you guys. As you begin to feel the wind of Orcus overpower the wind of the storm around you. Uh, and he is now, like, towering over the top of both of you guys. Uh, we are going to go next, I don't get to break. There, I'll let you roll it and we'll... we'll uh, We'll go to break there. <gasps> What'd you roll? Nat Natural 20 months. Yes! Oh, fuck yes! Oh, yeah, okay. Fuck you. So fuck yeah, as Orcus you. is, as you. Orcus is flying you. away to go towards Nazleth in Willow, you reach out you with your sword and begin yes, to attempt to... He can't move. Yeah, he can't move. With Sentinel, he can't take his movement. Yeah, yeah, that's right. His speed drops to zero. Oh, bitch! Oh, boy. Bitch! Oh, bitch! So oh, as he's about fifth. Teen feet for me. Are you going to burn this mini after this? <laughs> no, we're going to burn Chris's house down. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> I guess. <sighs> two. What, double damage is that we did? 20 yeah, you doubled the dice. Two d10s. And you chose Thunderous Smite! Yes, I did. Two d10s. <laughs> how, how do you like those pebbles? Fuck! Was that. How do you like that egg? That egg feels pretty good. It feels smells hard, but it feels pretty good. If we've ever needed in our lives, I wish I needed to throw a saving throw or something, but nope, it was all just hands. It was all hands. <laughs> <laughs> don't get this hand sandwich. I had no right chance right to do now. anything. I just had to take it. No, you fucking burned all your legendary actions. You fucking turd blossom. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, you did. <laughs> Name one creature that gets more than three. A Taras gets three. Unless he home brews the bullshit out of it. Home brewed bullshit. This is, uh... So, it's nine. So did I, you double the dice yet? Or yeah, is that I doubled the dice. Okay. 12 points of thunder damage. 12 points of thunder damage. Uh, five points, no, nine points of slashing damage. Hang on, give me a sec. Magical weapon? Yes. Thunder slashing, so 12 points of... 12 points of thunder. Okay. Nine points of slashing. And then it was nine points of lightning, so half will be four points of lightning. Okay. Wow. We've ever needed a big blow more than right now. And as he begins to take off towards Nazareth and Willow, you reach out with your sword, catch him Glaive. right, Glaive, catch him right on the back of the leg as he's flying away, um, and stun him into position. Um, and again, I spit blood. I didn't hear no bell! <laughs> And we will go to break there. Yeah. Give us about 10 minutes. We gotta pee and fill our drinks up. We will be right back. Who's there? Was that a dog? That's a dog.
Well, you really waited. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And welcome back. Um, yeah, we're going to pick up right where we left off at the top of the round. Get through this battle as quickly as we can. Um, map. I'll say, did the map go? Yeah. Nazlith and Willow, I'm going to need you guys to roll dexterity saves for me. I feel like we me. just rolled. I feel, yeah, I feel like we just did that. Yeah, no? Yeah. yeah. Did we not? No? I no. Feel like we did. No, you did not. That was when you were over here. What did you, Dex, you said? Yep. 15. 17. Um, you're going to save, you're going to fail. Okay. Uh, you're, the fail <laughs> is going to take 8 points of damage. The save is going to take... Um, four, as another rock comes flying out of the darkness at you guys, um, and Nazareth manages to uh, kind of begin pulling you, and kind of you get yourself out of the way. You don't necessarily get a chance to save her completely. Um, next up is going to be Voltaire. What are you doing, buddy? Willow on deck. So I'm going to take another attack at. This bastard. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no one's gonna wait. Um, sixteen misses, right? Yeah. A 16 is going to miss. Um, as he's kind of frozen in place and you start swinging at him furiously. Because I didn't physically roll that. Yeah. But, okay. okay, well. It went through your thing, right? I had it sitting up here. <coughs> this one shook the table, and it fell. Okay. That counts. Okay. okay. Well, miss. Okay. I uh, shook the table? Yeah, you put your hands there. It has roll. Then it, wouldn't that be me rolling it? What are you attacking? It rolled in his contraption. Um, your two swings as he's standing there, uh, and you manage to stop him. He turns around and faces you. Um, in... in Manages to dodge the two attacks well, that you that throw day. his way. That's going to end your another. turn. This is the best day of my life. Next up is going to be Willow. I got it. I got it. What you doing, girl? I'm trying to get my dice, man. This kid just got turned into a sandwich. Um, okay, uh, then hmm. I, I have a question. So I have. Um, <laughs> Nothing. Nothing. Um, You're the one with a dirty mind. Me? What? What? No. Go. Okay. Oh, um, this one. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> um. So I have the spell called Willow's Embers, where it's like if it's stacked, where Emberly does it and I do it, then it ha something happens. Could I take the component that Emberly would be involved in and still do the spell? Sorry. Say that one more. So the spell that we have. Yes. Is that depending on who, if depending on like if Emberly goes first, something happens, or if I go first, something happens. Could I still do the spell, but her component does no longer exist? Yeah. Okay, cool. Then I'm gonna do. You will need um, something to kind of inspire me to to kind of like add, <clears throat> add her addition to it. Put it that way. Oh, oh my gosh. Well, I have her stone. I want to like take the stone that. I mean, Nazareth made me. Yeah. It's literally, um, it's her. It's yeah, it's Emberly. her. It's Emberly. Yeah. Um, they'll be like, oh, you're gonna make me do something sappy. So. Yeah. Um, no, you it. you take. I will this do the sappy stone shit. Stone that is in the shape of Emberly. I'll be like Emberly one last time, and I'm gonna like reach out for her like spirit and soul or whatever, um, and reach out to the cosmos and do Willow's embers to. Hot guy. Or hot guy? Gary? Or kiss. Yes. Okay. Is Ga wait, is Gary hot? Is he hot? Gary's he sexy as fuck, no, dude. No, I meant temperature wise. Yeah. yeah. I was on the same page as Mike there. Um, but no, you, you throw um, Gary's got like your a embers of like towards cooking. Orcus. Yes. Does he need to make a roll of you? So, um, since I'm doing it first, and hopefully if Emberly, soul, and body is in bed with it. This is gonna um, be just a you roll. This is just a me. So yeah. for me, I don't roll anything. He ah. just will be knocked prone. Oh. And then he has to you make the You need to roll Emberly's. Yeah, con yeah con the constitution saving throw is 
for Emberly's part. Okay. So you need to roll both then, both your part and Emberly's. I have to roll a Constitution saving throw for. So when Emberly, Emberly's half of her attack, and then is, your half yeah. is what? So my thing, so the spell is like, so it's if I cast a spell attacking, first, right? okay. boom, and yeah. then boom. So this is literally written mm-hmm. as if Willow does this, the first. creature is knocked prone. Correct. Creatures affected will need to make a constitution saving throw. If they fail, they receive 3D fire, 3D8 fire damage. So if she does this, according to the spell you created, yeah. I would like to point this out. If she, if Willow says do, the creature falls prone. Yep. Yeah. And then after the creature is prone, Emberly goes a uh, chew or do 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 I don't care and then the creature has to make a constitution saving throw and if they fail then they take the damage so if you take Emberly's yeah. statement out of that it's if Willow says so you fall prone right I'm not taking her statement out is what I'm saying I'm saying it's that you are you are you're combining, doing both yes you are doing the same I'm trying to she's giving you free damage that's what you're doing you are doing the exact like same, protector. but you have to do the constitution. Like, you have to make the constitution. Yes, yeah, I made my. Okay, monster. then you roll the damage. You you explain this to me very thoroughly, like I had zero idea <laughs> what was happening. I was confused. I'm like, what's happening here? Oh, okay. Because okay, in, cool. in, in the other case, if like if I if Emily goes first, then her damage does happen. Knocking Chrome is secondary. Uh, so, so oh damn. Okay, uh, 12, 12, 13 points of fire damage. Yeah, he rolled a 26 so for he, his con. So then he doesn't get any damage at all. Okay. Let me roll for nothing. Just say no! I thought it was half or something, I didn't know. No, he has to try to beat a 16! You don't need the spell. I, yeah, I was going to say something like, I made this. <laughs> uh, home? Said, Brew? He's Perfect. like, 26! Does that mean? Wait, is he prone then? He's he is prone. Not prone. Um, yeah. So you watch as when you so hit you him. How frustrating prone? must that be for anyone ever to just be like, "Oh God, damn it, now I'm prone." <laughs> well, because it's pretty what much are like your, a funneling. You have. So what's going to happen is you are basically going to burn that Emberly stone. You're going to watch as it disintegrates. Oh fuck a duck! In God, your hand you. into okay. the embers that you end up throwing. Yeah. at this creature and that as they hit amazing. the creature in the back they don't do any damage but there's something done to his like nerves where you see his wings just kind of tighten up and pull oh, back I like that. I like um, that. and he kind of maybe falls he um, maybe he can't fly anymore and you watch as he's not he prone um, he really might be fighting his that will end your turn uh, then so that's my cantrip yes ma'am um, then I'm gonna go ahead and you gotta Oh, who what, what? Nothing. Oh, okay. Um, and then I'm going to be like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm gonna go ahead and do um, cure wounds to Nazleth. Oh. Is cure wounds a bonus action? No, cure wounds is an action. Bonus action is holy um healing word. Wait, so you're doing a cantrip and? No, you're right. You right. I'm sorry. Not cure wounds. I'm gonna mm-hmm. do healing word. That's my bonus. Okay. Thank I was you. For a there. Thank you. I appreciate it. <coughs> um, so then that's gonna be. Yep. And you 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 put your hands on Nasleth and you heal her up a little bit. Um, that's gonna end your turn. Thirteen Budanic. points of healing. Ooh. What are we doing, Budanic? Well, I five. You are laying face covered in mm-hmm. snow. Um, as you kind of like wipe the snow off of your face and your chest, uh, I imagine that you stand up. Out of the, the snow. first thing I do. <laughs> the, and you are now out? looking at Voltaire in front of you, who looks <laughs> rough. Like he is limping towards Orcus with everything he has right now. Blood drenched all over his face and body. Orcus is currently prone, but kind of in the midst of getting up again. Um, Perfect. Let's do this. Let's move at an angle so that... You got 15 I am feet left. more than 15 feet away okay. from Voltaire, but less than 15 feet away from Orcus. 
can I make that a truth? More than 15 feet from Voltaire, less from Orcus? Yes. Yeah. Triangle, that shit. You only have 15 feet left. Yep. Oh. Five, ten, fifteen. Five, Come ten. on, we're dying here. This is probably my last actual action. <sighs> he's over. He's in the twenty foot square, and he's on the other side of it. So I, he's like, it's kind of hard for me to give that to you, even if you're right, here. Fuck it. I will dash and leap off my friend again. <laughs> oh my! As you dash, you take your next thirty feet. Climb up the back of your buddy. Um, I'm gonna again need you to make an acrobatics or athletics check. I'm gonna need you to make a strength check. Uh, 20, not natural. Or as I've heard it recently called, a dirty 20. Yeah, I like. It. Ooh, I like it. Yeah. Um, so what do you? Like what'd you get? Bujanic? One. Nat? Yeah. As you begin taking Bruh. off, running at Voltaire. Um, what point of mouth? <laughs> Voltaire again oh sees God. you coming, puts a leg down into the, the into the snow. Puts his hand on his leg. Oh, he he is in the exact <laughs> same pose as when you <laughs> last saw him. And My feet you, are icy, all right. And as you go to take a step, <laughs> you just miss his leg barely and hit him right in the crotch, <laughs> and you end up just plowing through him full speed, okay. and you both end up. Bro. No, but okay, can I carry with my momentum Boosh. at the very least to land on the bracer? It's oh pretty God, much right I behind it. You're not on it, but I will tell you that like you're within grabbing range of the bracer. Can I just free action reach out and just put fingers on it at least? I just wanna if he stands up, with your I free want action, to go with him. If it, I just want to be my goal my goal was to just get in contact I thought with was Orcus. Straight. He's not trying to restrain. No, grapple's an action. No, restrain and grapple are two Dash different conditions. Action, yeah, he wants to... Did I take any damage from that? He wants to grapple it, and he already took an action. Um, you did not. Bonus no, bonus neither. action... I'm not going to give you any damage, but that... If I, do if I like, die from a nut shot... You were straight up like... <laughs> <I was. laughs> in the ground. Were you like... Three were looking... guys are down in the fucking snow. You went from Three looking like you. really rough to your friend just tackling the shit out of you and hitting you in the nuts. And you're like at the ground like just... Keep um... <laughs> You took your action. I just oh, all I want that? my my entire goal was to get. I will let you like touch it, but stroke. I can't let you grab. But as you, you reach out, stand up like a piece of shit. Anyways, grab. as you reach out and like touch his bracer, it moves off of your hand um, as he begins to step away and step up from you. That's going to end your turn. Next up's going to be um, Nazleth. As you guys are watching oh, Gary. You're watching as parts of Gary are just turning into ash, slowly and disintegrating, kind of falling apart. Um, and it's like patchy in his body, and it's even happening in his like clothes. You see it happening in his um, his long staff that he has with him. Um, that will. Which none what of are you doing, Nazareth? But I don't have range. Huh? What are you doing? I'm gonna turn towards Orcus, seeing him on the ground. I'm gonna eye that bracer, and I'm gonna try and attack it at six level fighting bolt. Okay. <laughs> and with advantage. At advantage, okay. baby! It wasn't in the box! Nat 20. Yes! Oh. Fuck! Yes! Fuck! Yeah. Fuck! <laughs> Fuck! Fire! Yes! Fire. Oh. oh my god! Go home! Yes! Go home! Fuck! Go home! Beach? Okay. Was that your last sixth level? Fuck yeah! And as he's yeah. laying oh up Oh my the ground, god! And he begins to get up. Um, this is before you even touch that other bracer. You fire off a shot. And That's it what tripped me up. There was a light in my eyes. His other right, bracer. Right. Um, and kind of blasts his arm. What do you want me to do? Block do the light out the I do. Okay, it's going to be... So I rolled it at 6th level. Which would be... Um, 
Ninety-six double. Yes! Do you need more D6? I got it, I got it. We should put all our false life dice into this, guys. Oh, no, I got false life. Three stuff. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Yeah, go check out false life dice. Okay, okay. On Etsy. Good. Okay, let's see. Oh, it looks so pretty. Oh, come on, guys, come on. It looks oh so God. good. Yeah, I got chills. Hold Look on. Look how pretty it is. I don't think my box is big enough. Hold on. Let me try and roll. Yo, yo. Her box is very tight. It's a very tight box. You want ours? Hey. It's very right. tight. It's very uh, nice. I like how everybody's like, use our, use, use the box, use the box, use the box. I like how we all looked at Matthew, her husband, to make the joke. <laughs> oh, no, man. This is so good. Every, all so three good. of us were like. <laughs> I cannot believe this is happening. And it's uh, radiant damage. Yeah! 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 I mean, it just means it's neutral, but like... <laughs> <laughs> That's better than being negated. Yeah, better than being like, oh, it's a half. Or I'm immune. I resist. He has no more legendary, too. Neutral damage I choose is the best to way to Actually, we don't know about the bracers. They might be totally vulnerable to radiant damage. That's true. Or they might be resistant for the time. Well, she's been hitting it before. Yeah, right. The braces are immune to radiant damage. <laughs> 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 he's, like, he's like, here, look right here. Read this equipment. Be so, okay. uh, yeah. That'd be so fucked. Would be I, right I would flip the campaign. fucking table and I'd leave. No. Voltaire died from a nut shot. <laughs> a crit radiant damage got negated because. So you're 18 uh, D6, huh? Yeah, do that. Get a calculator, baby. Hell right. yeah. 65 points of radiant damage. To the bracer. Oh! You break it. Oh! Um, you break it, you buy Yeah, the bracer in his right hand, as you watch it laying on the ground with the um, wand, the wand hand, you fire your shot. What does it look like as you hit this bracer? What's up? What does it look like as you hit this bracer? The radiant damage seeps into the bracer and it kind of like pulsates for a minute and then it just sh shatters it. Yeah, you watch this green radiant damage pump out of your staff, throws it right at the bracer. You make direct contact right where that other crack was. You all watch as the crack separates in a very green glow um, with radiant damage. The cr bracer cracks and breaks and falls. Yes! Right next to him. Woo! Fucking Nazareth uh, with these fucking sweet saves every time we go to a serious battle. Fuck! Oh, shit. Oh, oh my god. <coughs> oh. I'm gonna tilt this here, but that's where the bracer. Um, wait, 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 what are you, what are you putting a bracer on the ground for, bro? His bracer like fell. Like you can pick it up and, and put it on. Cracked and it's broken and, and laying there on the ground. It's visibly broken. Uh, yeah, it's How literally far? in two pieces on the ground, and the I two pieces him? both have large crack marks through them. You are, from him getting up, um, twenty feet. How big are, is the bracer? Like a naked drunk pass, barrel. I guess. Um, put Gary in the middle. Put Gary in the middle. For you, the bracers are like belts. I, don't know. I would say so. It's like half of a metal belt. Oh, okay. Um, I'm gonna like the bracer's pretty large, like. You could stuff half of it into a backpack or something. Okay, I'm gonna walk over to it, holding. and is it gonna take an action, a free action to grab him? What is what is that? Um, as you walk up and grab the bracers as he's standing up, um, to put them in your bag, I'm gonna take that as your, uh, j just a free action, just to simply pick okay. them up and put free them. Free action, take them. You can do one of them, I will say, because there's two of them, they're pretty large. It's gonna take you, it, it's gonna take two hands to pick it up and kind of like stuff in your bag, and, and it's in. gonna be pretty heavy. Then I'll take half of it, and I'm gonna use my bonus action far step, and I'm gonna go sixty feet back away from him again. Bonus action far step, sixty feet. <clears throat> yeah. Or at least at the edge of the warmth where Willow is. <clears throat> Okay, 35 feet is what we're going to say. Okay. As you are like, you poof right behind Willow. Willow, she disappears from your cool. view for a temporary time, maybe four seconds, before you watch her. So you right behind you again um, as she runs off into the pitch black. Um, that will end your turn, Nazlith. Yeah. Next up is going to be Orcus. He's going to take half of his movement to stand up. He He's not her. even going to um, fly at this moment in time. He's going to stay on his feet. What is and, uh, the little mini at his feet? Is it going 
Oh no, that's that's the that's the, the other bracer. half. Of his bracer. Oh, that's okay. the other half of his bracer. Okay. Um, <clears throat> Does he lose some sort of command over the environment around him? And as he um, <laughs> he's gonna take his forty feet movement to continue. Oh, prone, you bastard! Yep. Towards you guys. Um, take some chances to stomp. That's not bad. <clears throat> Willow, he he's not that bad. Three feet. Willow, he's gonna take two swings at you with his. Um, actually, you know what? As he walks up to you, Willow, you watch as his um, wand begins to glow mm-hmm. a very deep maroon red. He spikes it in his hand mm-hmm. and plummets it into the ground mm-hmm. in front of you. I need you all to roll. All. All. Sorry, buddy. I got nothing to help you this time. You have been uh, 10 feet of me, at least. For now. Constitution saves. Fuck. Yeah. Could be wisdom. Because that's the only oh, thing I gave you guys advantage with. Fucking. What was it? Five? All of you. Constitution saves. You get plus three. Eleven. Ugh. Seven. Total. Oh. With my plus. Plus my... Eight. Wait, no. What? Say that again. Eight plus three, Do fifteen. You want to start rolling no, through no, the tower. No, it's fifteen. I got fifteen. Eight plus three is eleven. Plus two is thirteen. I can math. Math, math can I? I can good math. English can't. This is where the leader boys sign off. Um, who rolled below a? 18. I did. Oh, I did. Oh, that's right. 30, 20. Um, everyone's going to take 25 points of necrotic damage. Oh, I'm resistant. Uh, you're going to half that. You oh, are, I'm dead. You are going to take uh, oh, 12 still, points. Still dead. As you, both of you, as you, um, you wouldn't have really seen what happens. You're kind of prone on the ground. It's pitch black. You, especially <laughs> Bull would not have seen what happened. There would have been a red flash of light behind you guys. You're kind of getting up. As you're in the midst of getting up, you would watch Bull drop down and just face plant into the snow um, as this pulse of energy kind of hits you and you feel it hit you as well um, as a matter of fact it hits everybody that will end Orcus's turn next up is going to be Ooh. the environment oh. um, I'm going to need Budownik to roll a dexterity this is for me. Ground. And I'm going to need. Um, disadvantage this is going to hit you as well. Oh, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Right? Oh, that's a d12. Cool, 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 no? cool, cool, cool. Natural 20. Hell yeah. Plus three. <laughs> You're not conscious. Oh, that's right, yeah. Yeah, 20. Uh, Would that negate the entire effect of that? Because I'm so dexterous. Here's how I'm going to play this. Plus uh, my plus 10 dex save. As you watch with your dark vision. That's a total of 30 dex save. Yep. Yeah. 30. As you watch this rock come plumbing out of the wall, out of the darkness, you don't really know where it came from. Um, as it comes Major. into your sphere of vision, you see Voltaire drop to the ground. You manage to grab him and start dragging him through the snow as this rock crashes and crumbles to your guys' sides. I'm just going to have you take two points of damage as you saved Voltaire from taking that death throw. So I don't lose a death? No. Okay. You just got saved by a nat 20. Um, <clears throat> that will end the map's turn. Top of the round, Voltaire. I need you to make a death save for me. Fail. Fail. Uh, Willow, what are you doing? So, um, with my boots. You are in melee. I know. <laughs> Let me just double check these real quick. Yes, ma'am. <clears throat> Cool, awesome. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and um, go ahead with my boots. I'm gonna move, and I'm gonna go to um, like what forty. I'm gonna go towards the bracer, other bracer. So you're gonna stay in melee with him. She gonna shoot me. Shoot me, shoot me, shoot me, shoot me. Twenty-five feet. Grab the bracer. Yeah, and you're still in melee with him as you. Pick up the bracer. It's pretty freaking heavy. Are you, where are you putting it? Put it in you? the bag of holding. Okay. And as you kind of like drop it in your bag, your do you have a personal bag of holding? 
Well, it's a Gary's bag. I'm guessing it's that bag holding. Are you putting it in Gary's bag? I'm putting it in Gary's bag. Okay. Um, as you plummet it into Gary's bag, um, what else are you doing? I am. As you watch it disappear into the dark abyss of what is Gary's bag, as it kind of goes into the heat. Okay. Going to his bedroom. Going to hell. Yeah. <laughs> like, here you go. Um, can I just Seriously, do Willow's like, what the portion? Fuck is this? Willow's ember says I don't have nothing else with ember leaves. What are you doing? Can I just do Willow's portion of? Um, no. I'm going to say that now that you're, unless you have something else of ember leaves, that is no longer going to be. I have her other a, bracer. That, that is no hers. longer going to be a spell. If you're willing to burn her other bracer, um, in your hands to use as the <laughs> ash needed, you could do it. She would love me. Oh, but it's the only thing of my sister's left. Fine, fuck it. I'm gonna put on her. I'm gonna take off my bracer, put on her bracer, and I'm gonna go ahead and do Willow's embers. And uh, I'm gonna say, sister, one last time. Yeah, and as you kind of strap her bracer on, um, and you begin to fire up this spell, um, the ashes begin to come from the bracer that is on your hand as it begins to melt almost directly through your arm. That's and you feel the energy of heat rush through the palm of your I'm hand and out um, into Orcus as he begins falling. He needs to make a constitution, constitution save. Constitution save. Has to be 16. I'm pretty sure his modifier is 19. Yeah, I was going to say, like, he's solid. Oh, and I got to mark something. Oh. Uh, con? Yes. A nine. Oh! oh, oh. <laughs> the bracer. Yeah. Removes some shit. Does Maybe. he seem diminished? <laughs> Does he look like a friend? You especially man? would have no Two freaking clue. Okay. Okay. So that's. Come on, girl. Come on, girl. Come on, girl. 19, 20, 20 points of fire damage. Well, he has. He takes like. He's immune to that, isn't he? Resistance. So you take that. It's Still, fire. that's 10 points of damage. Yes, he will take 10 points of that fire damage is when it hits his um, chest in front of you uh, and begins to like melt into what is already a gaping hole in his chest from something that you didn't see. Um, you watch as he like falls, it almost like shocks him into like a paralyzed state as he begins to plummet and fall yet again. Right he on lands top of Gary. in between you two. Yep, a wing of his lands right on top of Gary. Um, he's gonna take his 10 points. And then I'm gonna use the rest of my movement to get the fuck away. Um, which and, direction? Um, that way? No, go. And how much movement do you have left? That was 35 feet. I thought, I thought you said 25. Okay. You did say 25. That was 25 feet. I want to go this way. But at an angle. Oh, in between so like this way? Yeah. I'm zero. It's my first round. Oh, you went down too? Oh. I have 40. <clears throat> As we went down, I would have definitely placed my hand. And you can only take 15 feet then. If you have 40 feet of movement total. Yeah, you have 20, yeah, 25 yeah. and then 50. Yeah. Um, so you're about right there. Um, as you begin taking off for it. Is uh, he going to take an opportunity attack or when he's not prone? He to is it? not prone, so no. He okay, is going to cool, not awesome. take that. Um, I'm, I'm actually going to say that as he's like falling is when you manage to take the opportunity yeah, to I'm run fucking... away. Um, so you don't even watch as he hits the ground. Nope. You are like bolting. Uh, Boo down it. As I drag my former lover and student away from this boulder Aww. and the explosion blasts across my face and flings us both away and I land in the snow, his hand landing on my ass, I will just, through blurry vision, put my hand on his shoulder and make my first death saving throw. Fifteen, so I succeed. Yeah, as you kind of feel like a pulse of, of your, your blood is now rushing, it's hard to know what's happening right now. You are very hyper-focused, like, in this moment with your significant other. As you watch, he is not doing We're it. not significant others uh, anymore. Quite as well, true. Uh, uh, our relationship status. Don't, as don't the, assume. <laughs> as the light around both of you. Oh, I'm sorry. My bracer is the thing that's holding oh. the light? Yeah, it's not him. It's as you guys are both... In this light together, uh, light, what a light. scene! Uh, chills. Um, didn't need to draw this. No shit. That would be a great one. Um, Voltaire's hand on Boudinick's butt. 
And it's a beautiful, what was the color light? Was, was it blue? That will end your turn. Next up's going to be Nazlik. What are you doing? I'm going to take my bonus action to teleport 60 feet on the other side of Orcus next to the guys on the ground. Yeah. Um, half of that. <laughs> your movement's 60 I'm feet. I'm going to use my bonus action to yep. teleport yep. on the other side of Orcus near the guys. Yeah. And I'm going to turn into this Orcus. As you're like at both of their feet, you're watching as you are now surrounded by light. They're both right in front of you. You turn towards Orcus. Um, and I'm going to try and cast Guiding Bolt at second level on the second bracer. Yep. Oh, sweet baby Jesus. Is a that, dirty 20. Is that yes! Is that a yes! Point? You hit. It wouldn't be, well, because the advantage was on the other bracer, and I broke that. So it that wouldn't be an advantage on Orcus as a whole? Not on his bracer. There's three targets. Well, two targets now. Yep. His bracer has not changed, like, size in my... Yeah. Point of order, the black ring would be me. following Willow because she's carrying the other stone. It yeah. would. And it would still be on me as well. Yeah, it doesn't... You okay. have one on you. I yeah. would like to just specify this right now. It is very important for me to dictate this, that all of my magical items that I have given you will die within. If oh. I die right now, that's cocked. One day of my passing. Oh, cool. Oh, oh. Um, wait, include my boots? On the second bracer, it's 12 points of radiant damage, and whoever tries to hit it next has advantage on it. It's cool. so 12 points so next. Yeah. <laughs> or maybe you know or it gets, goes crazy and, and as it hits the bracer you don't up. see any cracks quite yet but you do feel that full force of energy hit that bracer um that will end your turn nasla next up is going to be orcus as he's going to take half of his movement to stand um and he's going to walk his um well he's got a 10 foot range so he's only going to take his five feet he's going to take his swing at the back of you with his wand. As you are running away, Willow, um, you are gonna feel the entirety. You wanna know what I rolled? Yeah. 39. 36. Um, you're gonna feel the entirety on your back, a Shoot. wand Shoot. strike no, you. I was thinking about it, but I have, it would only get me to 27. My AC is 22. Dang. Hey, that dwarven armor, man. That's why I wanted to play the armor, same thing. I went into this fight with a 16 AC. Damn, dude. What the fuck? What the hell? So you literally cannot be missed by Orcus. Um, you're going to take 23 points of bludgeoning damage. There's only one option. If you roll a nat 1 and I use shield, shield. Yeah. that was my only way out. And 8 points of necrotic damage. Uh, as you get struck the first time by Orcus, he's going to pick up his wand and take one more swing at you. Ooh, that was really uh, nerve-wracking. 21. Oh, he misses. Misses. And as you get hit the first time, you kind of fall down to one knee and turn around. As you look up behind you, he's already coming down for that second strike. You manage to just kind of roll out of the way and stand back up and continue your fucking path out of there. Um, good job. That's going to end. Orcus. He's actually going to take the rest of his movement and get to this side of you. <laughs> uh, he had well he only moved five feet to get to her yeah but he had half his movement to stand up yep so he'd have 20 feet left oh, okay. um, so he's just going right to the other side of you um, to kind of get in your way of where you were running um, and kind of corral you in that's going to end Orcus's turn next up is going to be the map um, I'm going to need the three of you Nazalith why did you come over to <laughs> Budownik in Voltaire to roll deck saves unless you're obviously we fail automatically if you roll a nat 20 is this a melee attack? 18 um, 18 so you feel the ground shake and this one doesn't come up with as much force or as much strength yes. as the previous ones that you guys have felt 
Your boy's about to die. Cock. As you take two points of bludgeoning damage. Um, did you save or fail? It was the 17 to save. 18. You saved. It's going to be one point oh, one of point. bludgeoning damage. Um, as you feel um, the ground kind of shift underneath you and, and just barely tweak you enough to, to get you. Um, with the one point of damage, I'm not going to have one point give you a death save. Oh, I not. think that is fair. Um, unless you say otherwise. Uh, this is, but I feel like a I'm not going to argue with you right now. A one pointer is, I'm not sure that's worth a death save. Um, I'm down to 101, guys. I'm down to 101. That will end its turn. Voltaire, death save for me. Succeed. So you have one and one. Willow, what are you doing? As Orcus is in melee with you, he he kind of alters around your path as you kind of get up and continue running after his miss. How close am I to the down it? Twenty-five. Cool. I'm making my movement. You can make a disadvantage opportunity attack against me. Disadvantage? Yeah, because of my boots uh, oh. speed. Okay. Means that I never fucking thought we're gonna actually help. A uh, a twenty-four. At disadvantage. Shield. Fuck. Shield. Oh yeah. Egg reaction. Get the fucking egg. It's so around. You... Yes. Yes. Okay. Definitely. Yeah. Um, Fucking crack in your face. So as you, um, <laughs> as he kind of, the start of your next as time. he kind of cuts you off, Willow, you get a little bit frightened. You reach in your pocket, <laughs> grab out this egg, like, oh. Fuck. <laughs> um, he goes to hit you, and you just kind of like crack it over you and begin to turn and run towards your other friends. Um, he misses with that. Well, um, good job, just barely. All right, so that's tw- I move twenty-five. Yes. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and um, can I? It, with, you're gonna have me do an action to pour uh, to put a, a potion down someone's throat. Yep. Yeah. Okay, cool. Then I'm gonna pour mm. potion <coughs> down um, down its throat. The greater restoration. Perfect. I roll for that. Mm-hmm. Where does that look? Um, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve points of healing. Um, and then what's the rest of my um speed? Um, so you use twenty five speed. Okay. Cool. Um, so you have fifteen left. I'm gonna keep. Go- I'm gonna go. Keep, go right past him. Uh, Dad, 15. As your uh, rock comes with you, your heat rock. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. And then oh. I'm going to just like, yeah. Just... We're going to stay right there. Yeah. Perfect. That's going to end your turn. Next up, boot down it. I As am... you feel in your chest, just look, look, look. You kind of pop up and, <gasps> and you see um, as Willow runs off towards the corner, what are you doing? I'm going to uh, take in my surroundings and seeing uh, Voltaire unconscious. Uh, I'm going to stand up and I'm going to look at Nazlith and be like, you should take a step back. And I'm going to walk slowly as little bursts of thunder emanate from my body yeah and my eyes begin to turn white and i put every ounce of who i am and what life force gift i have left i will get within 15 feet hopefully of shitbag yeah as you stand up you take the rest of your 15 feet of movement 5 10 15 you are about let me make sure i did that right I... You are within 10 feet of him. I will hold my action 
to cast Thunder Wave until she takes a step back. Okay. Yeah, and as you kind of like look back and you wait and you hold that action, that Thunder Wave <coughs> in the palm of your hand, um, that's going to end your turn. Um, and you're Nazlip, what are you up to? Um, I would like to walk over to Willow and I, as a free action, I would like to hand her my um, potion of greater healing and say this is for Voltaire. Okay. And then once I've done that, I would like to teleport 60 feet um, directly in front of Orcus. Wait, 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 wait. This as way? soon as she walks out of my range, yeah. then he can pop it off. Yeah, then yeah. my spell would work. Yeah, you're going right, right now. Go. Yep. So as she walks back, where are you going to go here? Teleport 60 feet straight in front of him, but that's not the end of my turn. Okay. So. Um, I'll let you do your thing real quick while I, I, need while him I move her. And uh, the, the bracer's within 15 feet of me as well at any point in time. The bracer. Uh, to make. Are you attacking the bracer? Are you attacking the bracer? My spell is. Focused on me. Oh, so it's amazing. And from it me. is a con and he's save. He's standing so it on the ground right away. now. I'm gonna okay, say that um, it's his left bracer. Ooh, I'm gonna leave. I mean, he's swinging right things there. around, dude. He is. It's a con save, so it doesn't affect yeah. your spell. Okay. Your spell. I'm gonna say it will affect him and the bracer. They both need to make what saves? Con saves. His con save, nat twenty, oh. fails. <laughs> It's con save. A 10. That actually does fail. Five points of thunder damage sweeps out from me as I fall to one knee. <laughs> That's all I got left. That was it. Every ounce of yeah. my worth. As you shove off uh, the, the rest of the thunder damage, damage you possibly have in your being, uh, Orcus manages to shed it, but it does manage to hit his last bracer in his left hand um, as he kind of towers over you, you are feeling the wind of his oh. wings. Um, that's going to end your turn? No, I'd like to do my turn. <laughs> oh, yes. Touche. He was just a bystander in that. He was a uh, his held action. Okay, so I'm 60 feet in front of him? Uh, yeah. Okay. I am going to aim for the bracer, which has advantage on it, and I'd like to cast Guiding Bolt at the first level and try and hit it. Perfect. Well, oh, sweet baby Jesus. Not a nap, but a dirty 20. Yes, yes, yes. We all agree dirty 20. That does hit the bracer. Okay. I like dirty 20. Woo! Is, you don't like it, Mike? We'll talk about it later. Uh, there's, a, there's, a, there's a stigma for me. 18 for points me. of uh, radiant damage to the bracer. Yes, what? yes, yes. Every point counts, every point fucking and counts. And it has advantage again on the next. Yep. She did start her turn in the heat as well. She did start her turn in the heat, I know. Um, perfect. And that will end your turn. Yes. Um, next up is going to be Orcus himself, who is going to... Give me one second. Um... Does he technically know who has his bracer? Um, it, you wouldn't really get that knowledge right now in this fight, to be honest with you. Yeah, because you blip. We mm. each have half. Yeah, we both like. Whoop. Yeah. Sorry, guys. I'm just saying the deal with the de the devils turned out to be like great. Yeah, but it would have been cool if we could just go straight to hell after this. We might at this point. We don't know if the well, like, Imagine if we going. never did that, though. We would have had Gary for this whole battle. Are you kidding me? Oh, my God, yeah. He tanked so much damage. Yeah, he did. I like Gary. I miss Gary. <laughs> um, I am so sorry for wasting so much of our lives, guys. <laughs> no He's going to take a swing at you, Budonic. Fucking half shit that I could have used this entire time. What? 34 to hit. Misses. Shield. Um, <laughs> I take a legendary action to choose to succeed. You're gonna take 20 points of bludgeoning damage. I assume I am blown 
backwards. Along into with my 15 points hatred. of necrotic damage. As you um, are not quite blown backwards, but yeah, you, you take a chest beating with this uh, wand. standing? Do you fall? I'm down. If you fall, then yes, you're going to fall in, in kind of like kind of like five feet back into the snow, just barely, like half of your body is going to be laying inside of the um, the heat ring as Orcus kind of stands over you. And he's going to begin to make his out. movement towards you, Nazli. <laughs> You're 60 feet ring. away. He only has 40 you, feet though. of movement. Um, so he's going to be about 20 feet from you. Okay. Um, as you watch... Um, and he is going to end his turn there. Uh, next up is going to be the map. And um, I'm going to need Nazlith to make a dexterity save for me. I have no more spell slots for guiding bolts. I cannot help. Nat 20. Yes! Oh, fuck off! As you fuck feel the ground begin to off. move underneath you, um, <laughs> you managed to Nazareth jump up just in time, MVP. as opposed to trying to throw something at you this time. He actually was going to move the earth and bring you towards him to kick off his next attack. Uh, uh, but you managed to here. jump out of the way uh, and dodge it <laughs> as the earth foof, flies towards him. Ooh, I um, I does the dirt in his eyes? <laughs> as the earth quite windy. She's just running. Right, yeah, basically, <laughs> basically. Um, Sweet. That's going to end its turn. Voltaire. Yeah, let's do this the, 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 the death save. Fail. Two fails, one save. Um, Your boy's going Willow, down. what are you doing? <laughs> Dude, I don't even have a comfortable yeah, position for my I hat know you anymore, did. bro. <laughs> I'm so I happy. know you did. Um... Ooh, I'm so. serious. Uh, this is this is what round six since we started seven tonight. This went <laughs> way longer. This went way longer than I thought it would. Am I able to crazy. get the potion as bonus action? Get grab it. Like is well, a free action. No, yeah. Administer it to administer it down someone's throat. Um, I would let you do that as a as a bonus action. Yes. Cool. Excellent. So <laughs> I'm gonna <laughs> okay. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and um, move. <laughs> I'm gonna go past <laughs> Voltaire. Don't. I'm gonna kneel down and whisper in his ear <laughs> and be like, "This is for Everly." And go past him. <laughs> 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 go to the down. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Pour the potion down. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! We can't question it <laughs> There's no question it even happened. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Just now. Just now. Oh my god. As oh, you I feel so many fights of you fucking hashing her. She fucking gets you back. As you, Boudownik, laying on your back, <laughs> feel... <laughs> A liquid hits your gullet, and as you swallow out of instinct, you come back up and you look, and Willow is standing above you. It turns um, out Willow was the big guy you were all along. And then, and then I'm going to take the rest of my movement, and I'm going to turn around and go back and be like, just kidding, and I'm going to action spare the dying. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's the fucking best. Oh my god, dude. So you're gonna be at oh, one god. HP. You're still in conscious. Oh, I haven't laughed like that since um, I was so you can't do anything. <laughs> oh my god. Um, yeah, that was great. Oh, that, was that was amazing. That's gonna end your turn. Next up's going to be Boudownik. How much oh. how much sp- movement was that? That's all your movement. That's 40? a full that's a full forty, yeah. Yeah. Uh, you were back here. <clears> and right, so you move boom, boom. Yeah. Okay. That's fine. I am going to <laughs> stand up. God, that was good. Blurred <laughs> and giggling for some reason. And I'm going I to... Uh, I love it. Take an that attack with my magic nice. stone. I'm going to hurl it uh, at the bracer. Um, yeah. And I'm, it is the left bracer, so it's going to be the I far manage. one from you. I hear attack. I manage, yeah. mm-hmm. uh, fucking Ooh. 24 to hit. So no advantage? 
Hits. Yeah. Nineteen to hit. Um. Is it so it'll sell off the next hit? That was the funniest shit, guys. That was good. So it's just ten points straight. of damage. Next ten points of damage to the bracer as your rock hits it. Um. <laughs> And as your rock hits that bracer, you begin to see, like, right where it hit, a little crack begin to form on the bracer. That's going to end. Who turn? Uh. Question marks? Bonus Maybe. action, I will urinate blood in my pants. Oh, my God. Perfect. <laughs> fucking um, next up is going to be Nazlith. I'm the one who took the nut shot, man. Okay. <laughs> right. Seriously. <laughs> Last first level spell slot. I'm gonna try and cast Guiding Bolt on that bracer again. Can a nut pop? Well, like, can a ball actually pop? 22,000 pounds of force. Pounds yes. It takes 22,000 pounds. Yeah, I it usually. Anything on the table, I count. That's it doesn't kind of, fucking hit. That's my rule. I flip rule. him off and I teleport uh, 60 feet behind him and then walk forward. I'll say, yeah, that fucking counts. So you I'm, shaking the table I'm rolls my dice for me and it counted. 100 feet away. Okay. That's not 100 feet. Yeah, I gotcha. I'm, I'm, That's 80. I wanted to measure. Boom, as you run up to him, uh, make your attack on him. He manages to dodge it, and you poof, blast behind him. <laughs> and blink, you are 100 feet away. How many points uh, are that's going to end Nazlis' turn. Oh Next up is going to be... Oh, we're rolling through rounds now. Um, big bad guy. He is going to turn to... Voltaire is uh, also standing. Or sorry, Budionic is... Budanic is standing, Voltaire's not dead. Well, you're, are you standing, standing? I am standing, standing. Um, while he stands in front of you two, he is going to reach down to you, Willow, uh, and cast Chill Touch. He has cantrips? Yeah. All magic casters have. I, I have cantrips. Well, yeah, but I'm, uh, I don't. Have um, I think paladins are. Like oh, make a race spell You already said he reaches down. You I did. did. I did. Which means that a range spell uh, would be different. It would be. We'll go with what the DM says. Oh wow, two not bad eight rolls either. Um. Shield. Because I still have it technically. Yeah. Um, 29 to hit. Oh, 27, yeah. Um, as he, um, kind of reaches down just right above your head and casts <clears throat> Chill Touch, you feel a connected energy from the palm of his hand. It's about the size of your head, uh, as it's about three feet from behind you. Uh, you're going to take... Where did I put all of them? I feel hot. I feel very hot. I feel hot too. This is stressful. These are stressful times, guys. I'm losing guys. Oh, they're right here. Oh, they're stressful times. Um, you're gonna take 17 points of necrotic damage. Um. No, chill touch. Chill touch. It's not from ice. No, I just range spell. Yes. Oh, interesting. Yes. What? It's um, the most confusing spell. Oh, is it, is in the it supposed to be like a fear thing? Linux. Is that what happens? Skeletal hands that touches hand. you. Yeah, it's like an undead hand. Okay. And also, um, we'll let you regain hit points until the start of your next turn. Correct. Yeah. Um, so that's going to end Orcus's turn. Next up is going to be the point. map. Um, Nazareth, as you are 100 some odd feet away, you see another stone come flying into your view. I'm going to need you to make a dexterity save. Six. <coughs> oh, sorry, I actually have to only roll one. Because he doesn't have two bracers. Um You're going to take two points of damage as... Because it's a terrible roll. As the rock... Um, glances off the side of your leg and you're just kind of like limping around back there um just trying to survive at this point that's going to end its turn next up's going to be voltaire uh, he's unconscious <laughs> well you have one hit point don't you 
Uh, he does, but he yeah. is unconscious. As you're laying there on the floor, uh, oh. Willow, what are you doing? He is unconscious. That's how that works. How far am I from him? Um, you are standing next to him. So I'm in melee? Oh, to Orcus. You're within his melee, you're 10 feet from him, but to get into your melee, you need to move up a little closer. You know what? Fuck it. I'm gonna do it. Yeah. Actually, no, because he's immune to it. Never mind that. Fuck it. Don't do it. Necrotics, yeah. I was like, no, no, daddy says no. Um, cool, then I'm going to fucking uh, dash the fuck out of Dodge. Um, perfect, where are you dashing to? Um, the la- like Probably the last place I was trying to go to before. How far is your dash? Um, 80. Boom! You want to be like right there? Yep. Um... As you dash out, and you are now um, in the snow, frigid, by the way, as you enter this. You don't roll no, it yet. She's not uh, frigid. Oh, yeah, you got yeah. your stone! She carries the fucking... I forgot you're the one who carries it. You um, Your stone comes with you. Um, as you plow through the warmth towards Nazalith, um, I will remind you that it is pitch black, and you have no freaking clue where Nazalith Damn is it. Okay. at this point. Well, I can see um, it. Oh, you can see me. So if you do okay. attempt to find her yourself, I'm going to have you roll some things. But anyways, moving on. Um, Budonic, what are you doing? I will sluggishly withdraw the great sword from its sheath, dropping it in the snow for a second, and stumble towards Orcus and just make a wild, like, wah! <coughs> Because that's how I feel. Yeah, definitely. As you kind of pick up your uh, your sword, you take your five steps towards Orcus. You make your swing. Um, as you make your swing down, Orcus parries with his wand. I saw that face. Um, and your sword just poof, kind of pops up. Uh, you still have it in your hand, but it was a miss. Can I rotate around, not leaving his melee, so that my feet end up back in the uh, heat circle? Oh, yeah, definitely. Um, as you kind of feel your way uh, towards the heat while you're fighting him, um, and, and he, he kind of parries you in that direction. Anyways, that's going to end your turn. At uh, Nazleth on deck. Yeah. I, I don't even have smart things to say at this point. What are you doing, Nazleth? Um, <clears throat> I still have to get within 60 feet of him to see him, right? Um, yes, and I, I'm giving you guys the 80 feet of, like, he's a shadow, at least. Wait, you it, guys don't even have that at this moment. So he's out of your vision completely. From isn't he glowing, though? Um, he is not. <laughs> Currently <laughs> what's glowing no, is... Yeah. Yes. Budonic, yeah, yeah. Budonic's, so Budonic's like glowing. But I made the rule that you still have to, like, it. you can't even see the glow, is what I'm saying. It's okay. so dark I in front turn of around you. and, um... Teleport 60 feet in the direction where I came from. Yep. This game's light mechanics are inconsistent. <laughs> I can't wait till you How far away am I from I know. Orcus now? You fuck with you, dude. Because I made these light mechanics and I've been playing. How, how far away am I from Orcus now? Um. He would be in your view, uh, and he is 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40 feet away. Okay, I will turn and face him. Yep. And I'm going to aim for the bracer with fire bolts. Yeah, so that bracer, uh, I'm going to say it's 45 feet. The bracer is 40. It's just on the other side. I guess he's kind of like swinging around. I'm not going to. Woo, now 20. Yes! How do you do this, bro? How do you fucking do this? I really shitty and then I roll really good. That's so I'm good. I'm good. Oh, happy. man. Now um, 20 on fire bolts. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, cool, 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 cool. Roll your stuff. Cool, cool. I'm like over here pulling out my hair. I'm like, this is one of those. Dude, this is, so this is a fucking right? emotional roller coaster. Double oh. the dice, bro, beans. This is an emotional roller coaster. Yeah. 23 points of fire yeah, damage. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. 
Well, that's a bracer. That six, it's oh, a it's bracer. bracer. Hmm. That was six dice. Is it 23? Six. D10, yeah. You rolled six. You only get 12. That's weird. Uh, what was it? Now I lost my number. 23. 23. Mm -hmm. Perfect. As you cast your spell, you watch as the flame hits the bracer. The bracer, where the small crack was, your green flame hits that small crack, and you watch as it ignites, and another crack starts going up the sides of the bracer. Not quite broken yet, but you are cracking the shit out of it. Um, um, to end my turn, I will fly 40 feet, or however many feet I need to get into the circle with the love. Oh, yeah, that's an easy. Boom. Um, perfect. That'll end your turn. Next up's going to be Orcus, who is going to take a swing at Budownik, who's at his feet. Um, 25. Oh, you're at 16. <laughs> I can't believe that I have fucking high ears. You see them, this guy. You see them, that guy. I literally You're gonna take twenty points so of bludgeoning so you guys damage. Could carry the things that you did. Literally all the magic items. You're gonna, gonna take twenty point points, points of bludgeoning. I, as he goes, to eleven swing points at me, of necrotic. I'm just gonna look at him and be like, <laughs> <coughs> "Looks like you're getting tired, old man. Feel like you can't keep an old dog down." And he and looks. Then I fucking get yeah, he looks down out. at you. Um, you look nice above the mantle. And he swings and just crushes you as you fly another Metal. five feet back. Um, uh, and you now lay prone, unconscious, by your good pal over there. That's going to end... No, he's got one more hit. He's going to move to... He can't see us, can he? Does Would he hand? know? He's got true sight. True sight doesn't mean like. True sight just means mean, you see through illusions. It doesn't mean that you see perceptibly, but we don't know what the mechanics are. I'm gonna are make a roll for him real quick. The black, so it might be something that he doesn't. He may not be affected by the darkness. Maybe like I was talking about marine layer. If you're in marine layer With around it, you, nothing. He's going to just Everyone take his movement why. to move over and take another swing at Voltaire. Cool, cool, um, cool, cool, at, cool, as you cool, cool. So are that's on. That's just a free hit, right? On the ground, yeah. it's at advantage. Are you unconscious already? Oh, uh, well, he's yeah. unconscious with one. Oh, you have one HP. Um, yeah, so that's gonna hit. He's gonna knock you um, dead. Dead. So you're gonna go back down to zero. He's gonna use the rest of his movement, which is only about. Oh, and he's uh begins. Heading your direction. That's going to end his turn. Next up is going to be the map. I need you both to roll deck saves for me. Zug boy still has a shot. Oh my god. Uh, yeah, she's about. Two. 21. Not one. 21! <laughs> Yikes. The dichotomy. Uh, Zug boy is so unlike, like I said, I roll really unlike good. usual, Nazlith is kind of looking at where. Um, the battle's happening as she kind of gets into your range, uh, Willow. You kind of look up behind you guys, and you're the one who sees this rock first. And as you kind of let out um, a scream, Nazlith, as you turn and see it, you pull her down, and you just take the full blunt of this rock. You're going to take eight points of bludgeoning damage. You're going to take four, Willow, points of bludgeoning damage. Uh, as the rock shatters across the ground... Um, Voltaire. Yeah. Failure. One uh, fail. But you started it with uh, right? Okay. Um, Willow, what are you doing? Is it possible for me to, like, have my movement mimic? No. Am I able to like hold my movement that I'll move like after I'm fucking around? <laughs> fucking around. Yeah, you can hold your movement to move and follow follow okay. Nazlet. All right. Well, then I'm gonna use uh, I'm gonna go and do um, divine, and then give myself 11 points of healing since I only gave 64 to fucking Gary. Mm -hmm. And then that's I'll I'll that's it. <laughs> okay. Um. Perfect. That's going to end your turn. Next up is going to be Boot Down It. 
I need you to roll a death save for me. 17. Uh, you have a one succeed, and Paris one fail. Uh, Nazleth, what are you doing? How far am I away from Marcus at this point? Can I flavor that and just say that, like, through the, you know, in and outs that I'm feeling, I reach up and hold Voltaire's hand. Oh, God. So much. Yeah, so you guys are, like, laying arm in arm. I'll so flavor even good. more for you. When he batted you and pulled, like, literally just pelted you, um, when you went flying back, you basically crashed back into the, you know, chest and arms of Voltaire, who is already prone and laying on the ground. Um, and as he walked up to Voltaire, so I would have cradled his head right as he come up. Just smashed ball. both the two of you there, so you are both it's, basically it's like laying instinct. there, um, arm in arm on the floor as he turns and, and heads the opposite way. Um, he's forty feet from you. Forty feet. Okay. I'm gonna try and hit the fucking bracer again with my firebolt. The only person who actually stops. Nope. <laughs> nope. Doesn't go anywhere. Um, yeah, as you fire another really firebolt, um, it's a little bit dark and it's kind of hard, so you can kind of see his shadow I'm out really in the, in the, the coat. <laughs> yeah. on the horizon. You cast that fireball. Um, you just barely miss uh, as he kind of pulls away and dodges. That's going to end your turn. I'm going to move 40 feet back away from him. Uh, and you are following. And you guys didn't notice, but Zuck was over there. Oh my god. <laughs> All I have left is fucking fire. Dude, I um, thought I have... No, wait, no, I have necrotic. I, I have necrotic. I have the... Yeah, I have totally necrotic. And as you guys kind of pull away, um, you guys hear in your heads, um, Willow, after you wring your blood from your skin, you will get to see your sister once more. Uh, but now your mother and father may be included. As he begins chasing you down, uh, as a matter of fact, he's going to take... <laughs> His turn. Good for me. I don't like my parents. <laughs> uh, and he's going to move his 40 feet. How big is this arena? Can we just do laps, man? <laughs> Serious question. Uh, as you guys kind of run around. Just yep, just, that's exactly what we're doing, man. <laughs> Naz is going to keep trying to fire a shot. <laughs> and I'm just going to try to stay alive enough to like... Oh, you... Okay. You used your potion of healing already. Um, that'll end Orcus' turn. Next up, we're going to top around. Voltaire, what are you doing? Or Voltaire, roll a save for me. Actually, I'm sorry. It's the it's nature's turn. I need you two okay. to roll deck saves for me. Does nature know where we are? I fail. <laughs> Twenty-one. Yeah, oh, yeah, oh, girl. Yeah, uh, girl. What, what did you roll to fail? Um, four. A four. Um, again, Nazlifis, you're the one who sees this thing coming in. You manage to push her away once more as you take the brunt of it. You're oh, gonna take dude. three points. You're gonna take one point of bludgeoning damage. Um, I don't. You know what I can do? Fuck it. Roll. Dude. Failure. Um, that's your second failure. Um, that's gonna end your turn, Willow. What are you doing? Uh, again, I'm gonna hold my movement, but as, yeah. um, I'm gonna go ahead and cast resistance yep. on um, Nasleth. Yep. You get a D4 to any uh, save throw. I take a piece of my hair wrap around your finger. Your boy's on your way, his way out again. Like for real this time, right? With your rolls, dude. I think you're the first. Uh, I don't think I should play this game. I think the <laughs> fates are I telling me. We should, we should work me, a yeah. mechanic for you. Says the dice maker. Um, Willow, is that in your turn? We should work I'm a mechanic for you. That, like, and move roll rolls okay. are the better uh, rolls. Bootownic, I need you to make a death save for me. Fail. Uh, as you have one and one, your buddy has two fails. Just um, as Orcus is prowling away from you guys, you guys are now sitting in still a glowing, glowing light. light. Yeah. 
uh, with a whirlwind of snow around you, um, just sitting together uh, in each other's arms. Orcus is going to begin moving his way in more. Uh, that's going to end your turn, Nazla. What are you doing? Um, I'm going to try and cast Fireball on that racer again. Hell yeah. Holding. That's powerful. 26. That will hit. Let's go, girl. Let's fucking go, girl. I'm willing to dash and pick up a piece and put it in the back holding. points of damage, fire damage, to the racer. Um, as you cast your spell, you hit the bracer one more time. You watch as your green fire energy bursts through it one more. Um, it cracks all the way through, but it's still holding on to his arm. Just you got this, dude. You got this. Barely. We are uh, just uh, as okay. he is like I was wrong about everything else towards you. Make one That's prediction. going to end your turn. No. Okay. I'm gonna move. Um, 40 feet this way. I will. Like right here? Yes, ma'am. Yep, and I'm going to hold my, can I hold my bonus action? What is your speed? 40. 40. Okay, that's why making sure. Yeah, uh, can I hold my bonus action? Yeah, you can, what, what bonus action do you want to hold? My far step. If he comes near me, I want to teleport out of there. Yes. But I only want to do it if he comes, if he's going to attack me. Yeah, definitely. Okay. He's within range. Yep. Yeah. Uh, perfect. That will end your turn. Next up is going to be Orcus. As Orcus comes you. flying okay. in. I'm you guys right. remember when Orcus was running from us and we were so mad? <clears throat> yeah. Boom. Um, you guys are still not within range of Orcus. Uh, Orcus is actually going to roll 55 d6. No, Orcus is, uh, he's going to hold there. Um, that's going to end Orcus. So next up is going to be the map. I need your dexterity checks. One last time. One last time? What do you mean last? 17. Well, I don't know. It's one last. It could be 100 more times. Oh, 17 plus. Well, 17 mm -hmm. saber? Yeah. No, you're good. Don't 18. roll. Don't roll. 17 is no. good. What did you roll? Um, I rolled a 8. Eight. You're gonna take six. You're gonna take three points of bludgeoning damage. As behind you guys, in, now in goodness. between, uh, you're in between it's Orcus and this rock. The rock behind you begins to crumple and fall down upon you um, as you take a little bit of damage from it. That will end the map's turn. Both hair. You have two death throws. Willow, what are you doing? As Voltaire takes his last breath in you gotta the arms. Let him, you gotta let him have his moment, dude. Um. Time out. <laughs> Voltaire, as you laying, are laying there, and you are in this, this dome light. There is a windstorm around. You can't hear more than five feet from you. Um, the one person you do have is on oh, your chest. Fuck. Um, wrapped in your arms. What are you doing? Uh, with my last ounce of strength, I can't get out more than a whisper. And I'll say, through the Nick, I know you would never ask for it, but I forgive you. And I will do it all over again. And I will die. Oh, yeah. Um, perfect. Um, Willem. Um. <clears throat> I am going to go ahead. Because he can move 40 each time. And right now, he's about. How far away is he from me? Well, I guess I can't really calculate that in my mind. About 30. So if I. He's from probably technically stay away 30 feet from me every single time. Um, Cool. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, cast resistance on my self. No, I'm not. I'm gonna go ahead and wait. Um, hold like my action to dash as soon as Nasa moves. Perfect. That'll end your turn. Next up is going to be Budownik. Um, you're one and one. Success. Two saves, one 
fifth. I got three in a row. <laughs> Nazlith, I know. That's heart-wrenching. Uh, Nazlith, what are you doing? I'm going to try and cast Firebolt again on that stupid razor. Yeah. 16 to hit. 16's gonna miss. Oh, fuck. Okay. I'm gonna run 40 feet towards this wall closest to me. Oh. Did you take the dash act? Yeah. Nice. Smart. Well, can Smart. you see me if I go that? So I'll, I'll teleport 60 that way. I'm gonna move as soon as you, when you move, I move. Okay, I'll teleport 60 that you way, move, and then I I'll move. move an additional 20. Okay. So we're 80 together. Okay, so you watch as she blinks away from you. She, I'm gonna put you guys on the other side of this rock unless you wanna be uh, in the corner. I mean, yeah, preferably not. Would you wanna be in the corner or the, the over here? I'm basically put you right there. I'm fine with that. Okay. Well, it's where you wanna go. Yeah. Um, if you wanna go to the Does corner, the we can go to the corner. Does the some well. sort of like cover? No, for the rock fucking moves. Shits? No, but you guys are. Um... Smushed Gary. Yeah. Uh um, much scary with his mom. Okay, and that will end your turn. Perfect. Next up's going to be Orcus. Orcus is going to um seeing as you guys are just kind of moving all over Bye, the bitch. map. Um pee pee on the rock. Pew! Run. Pew 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 run. Orcus is Orcus right. got shit. I gotta lose fucking burn all of his legendary actions. Is he holding action? Because if he is, burn it. Um, burn it with fire. <laughs> you hear Orcus nope, um, in your guys' head, who down it included. Um, I over talk and talk to Nazareth. What a nice stroll we're having! I just block everyone out of my head. <laughs> with a friend dead. Think you're gonna stop me? I don't hear those. Their don't souls are sinking to the abyss as we speak. And he. I'm stretching. Is going to cast Time Stop. No, oh, piece of shit. What does that do? You guys, as you are running, you are gonna feel time and space around you're a you. Dick. Just oh, start just slowing spell. down. As you guys are communicating with each other. I love this spell and you can't attack with it. As you guys are communicating with each other, um, you guys, you're, you're, you begin to slow down your speed. Everything around you, the snowfall, the storm, everything begins to move at a slower pace. As mentally, your facilities are still there, but your movements are just not going very far. Um, he is going to roll to see how many rounds. Uh, wow, that you got a pretty happy look on your face over there. As soon as he attacks, though, it's over. Time stop is to give yourself time to heal. Yeah. And what? Are you fucking kidding me? Um. That's You're undead, though. You shouldn't be able to heal. I can't heal shit. Not as concerned at the moment. Um, he is going to move his. He's actually going to take it to about there. Um, this is going to move its turn. Fucking called it. Yeah, but. It can only go half speed right Fuck now. Fuck you. Um, That's good. Yeah. It's good. It's really good. He's gonna move that rock. You guys are gonna have to move. He's gonna move the rock and make it so you can't retreat that direction. He's gonna go there. He's gonna move this. Where'd you go for his turn? Is he just. Wait, so the map gets as many turns as he does? His one last bracer is controlling that map. Um. He only gets two rounds as he kind of pops up and you guys slow motion and as you guys kind of start coming to and begin beginning to speak at a, a little more rapid pace, you begin watching the snow flurries around you at the speed that they were previously. Um, 
now in front of you is Orcus, and as you kind of turn, the rock behind you is beginning to close in. Uh, What was that? You said two rounds? Yeah. Do I have to make two death saves for that? Um, Wait, no. He stopped time for us, technically. Yeah, that means so that he gets two free rounds. Yeah, no, know. I'm going to say this is purely a His for him, round. like a yeah. type of thing. Um, so no is going to be the answer okay. to that. Um, but we are going to, that's going to end his turn there. So next up is the map, which is going to um, take its final movement. You can say final. Don't say final. I yeah, it's final. not final, dude. <laughs> um, oh, don't oh, break that sorry. mini. Break it. Yeah, break it. Why is it your Ours arm the look only like one you're supposed attack. to be? Whoa. I make great choices with um, my minis. As you feel the stone twist and kind of block you guys <laughs> in, um, and you guys are now tucked in a corner with Orcus looking upon you, um, that's going to be the map's turn. Next up is going to be... Um, Willow. I'm just gonna get the fuck out. I'm holding my action to dash. You're holding a dash out. action? Yeah. Okay. Yep. With Nasla. Perfect. Nasla, what are you. <clears throat> um, I. Actually, Boot I'm sorry, he needs to make his roll. What is it? That was not inside. Oh. It was a 19, but it wasn't inside the track. That table counts. I'm a table counts guy. Um, so you save? I am stable and unconscious. Did you get three saves? And as you kind of okay. are sitting there, you can't really move, but you are definitely conscious enough I'm just to know. Try and lace my fingers. This situation under you. His. Um, definitely. Did he hear my words? As, yeah, I did, and he it, did. it fucking hurt. He did hear your words. There's uh, tears. You'd like to. Okay. Um. Alan, your turn. Willow, what are you doing? Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Nazareth, what are you doing? Uh, I'm gonna try and cast Firebolt on that fucking bracer again. Yep. Uh, oh wait, hold on. 18. No, I need 19, don't I? That barely misses. Fucking kidding. As you cast on on the bracer, um, you watch as he manages to almost parry it with his just just almost like his mind. It seems to just bend out the way uh, as you are struggling rather hard right now to figure something out. Um, um, I'm going to feel the effects of my first scroll of our stuff to fade away. So as my bonus action, I'm going to yank out the second scroll and cast it. And I'm going to um, bonus action teleport 60 feet um, straight that way. Okay. Clutch spell usage, guys. That's 60? That's yeah. 60? That's... What? That whole entire strip is 80. Five, ten. Oh, touche. Yeah, like, yeah. Sorry, guys. <laughs> was that, was, that was 30. <laughs> okay, you might as well factor in the extra 40 I'm going to throw in for my flight. Okay, yeah, so definitely. Boom. And then boom, 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 boom. And then boom. Okay. I'm taking... Willow would have moved with... Count you did dash, so you went to 80. Yeah, you went to 80. Mm-hmm. We'll put you a good 20 feet behind her. Good. Well, how far does the emanating... Um, 15 feet. 15 feet? Oh, you're just barely out of it. Just barely out of it. Um, as she's managing to keep up behind you guys, uh, you were just out of Orcus's reach uh, as you ran by that rock. Um, she would have disadvantage anyways. That Ninja will end... Walk in! <laughs> That will end your turn. Okay. Um, I think this is beautiful. Next up is going to be Orcus. I'm hanging out by a thread. Did you use your resistance ready? No, I didn't. Next up is going to be Orcus. Orcus is going to... Um, God, even Orcus is like almost done with spell. Fucking drop it, dude. Fucking drop it. <laughs> we're all just going to be running around this fucking board. That's all we're going to be fucking doing. War of attrition. I'm trying, War of attrition. dude. I'm trying. Have nothing. I have spent all my nat 20s already. You don't need a nat 20. You need a 19. I know, I need a fucking 19. What's your modifier? Plus 7. 
I need a 13. I need a roll 13 at minimum. Um, you need to roll 11. 12 at a minimum. Oh, yeah, I forgot. I don't. Meter beat, okay. baby. Meter beat. 120 feet. Um, Willow, you're going to... Uh, he's going to cast Chill Touch at you. Um, as you kind of run away from him, he's going to turn. You're going to feel um, 120. Range spell attack. Uh, that's a nat 20. My first one. Not a very high level spell, um, but it is a nat 20. Yeah, the girl's about to go night night. And I have nothing. You're gonna take 14 points of necrotic damage. I'm out. As you faint to the ground. That will end Orca's turn as he's actually going to take his movement as well. Um, his 40 feet. <clears throat> what are you doing, Nazlip? Um. Oh my god. <laughs> I feel so stressed by this. I'm going to try and cast Firebolt on that fucking bracer again. Okay. Um, how far away is Willow for me? Is she only 20 feet? 15 feet. feet. I'm gonna walk Tw yeah, right outside that 20 feet. I'm going to walk 15, 15, grab the stone off of her. Yep. Um, I'm going to teleport 60 feet that way towards the guys. Wait, towards us? Like don't, don't, right. I would I would open that triangle up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go towards that, the far corner. Okay, towards yeah, Gary, sure. anything. Yeah. So 60 feet. Plus I'm dead. What am I doing? Stay away from that fucking rock. <laughs> plus 20 of flight from there. Yeah, so definitely. Add, so add on 20. And as you approach Garyon, uh, or what used to be Garyon, um, it's been a while since you've been over here. Oh, um, shit. Garyon's no more. Mm -hmm. And in the pile where Garyon was, there's a very large diamond. One. Sitting there. I'm not a healer! You <laughs> say so you're like the one who can't use it. What else are you doing? How far away am I from Orcus right now? Uh, you are a... Well, she also has 20. About 65 feet She's from Orcus. Can I just do... As, well, because I, I want to add on extra 20 in flight, but... I'm gonna briefly stop next to Diamond. I just want to touch it real quick before I go my extra twenty. Um, yeah. As you grab, walk up to where the di uh, Diamond is in the ground, um, you will notice that the snow in that area is kind of non-existent. It appears to be melted. As you feel the Diamond, it's just kind of warm. It's not very warm. Mm -hmm. um, it's glowing red. Um, Can I stick a coin on it? Yeah. You pull out a coin and you stick. A coin on it. Um, what else are you doing? That's it. As you stick that coin on it, um, I'm actually going to go on to the next person for now. Um, next person? Gar or Orcus. Um, For some reason, as you moved him like that, tilted, I just got the image of him doing the can-can <laughs> on the way. Um, <laughs> and Orcus, at this point, he's not even flying. You are watching him lumber around at you, and each step is probably about six feet, seven feet in length, mm -hmm. um, as he's just taking these massive steps. These wings are still kind of moving, but they're not, like, flapping as hard anymore. Um, and he looks like he's coming at you just to purely beat your ass. Um... <laughs> That's going to end Orcus' turn. He's actually going to hold his action. Um, we're going to go back to the top of the round. Um, I need you to make a deck save. Of course you do. Well, you're the only one alive, so. Nine. 
Uh, that's going to fail. Um, you're going to take um, two points of damage. I'm sorry. I don't know why, but... Okay. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's Master. Top of the round, Voltaire, you're done. Uh, Willow, I need you to make a death save for me. How do I do that? You roll a d20. Anything 10 and above is a save. Anything 9 and 19. under is Ooh. a fail. You make one save. Um, that's going to end your turn. Budownik, you are up and unconscious, but you are kind of in the arms of Voltaire at this time. Um, How long does it stay unconscious for? Until I'm healed or until I get a long rest. Oh, God, shit for you. Did you just start napping? Nazla, what are you doing? <laughs> I'm going to cast Firebolt again at that motherfucker. Um, As you cast another firebolt at him, um, and, and you have this coin on this diamond, um, and you begin to look down at the diamond and the coin, um, the diamond itself begins to expand in your hand very slowly. It's taking some time. Yeah, how big is the diamond? I'm having trouble with the scale of it. Um, the scale of the diamond, it started as probably... Um, I imagine a Gary-sized diamond. That's what I did. No, <laughs> probably about a baseball. Imagine okay. all of Gary's ashes... So I have a diamond and a, and a ...shoved coin. compacted into a diamond form. So okay. we're talking something like a lime. Okay. Right? And as it's in your hand, you put this coin on this diamond. The coin seems to mend. Dude, is this a fucking one-up? The coin seems to mend <laughs> oh my to the God. diamond, Get one and the side. diamond begins to grow in your in the palm of your hand. Um, it's currently about the size of a baseball. Um, okay. Gonna... As you take your turn, so you have to circle jerk for nine months while he just. I'm gonna teleport sixty feet and to the corner here. Yep. And uh, that's it. Perfect. Uh, he's gonna lumber. And continue chasing you. He does not have much he can do at this point. Um, is he still holding that action? Technically, no. He he has to release he it. To um, it he's just unfortunate that. You will get the sense that a lot of his magic is is necromancy. Right. As he's chasing you down. Which is completely useless against which is you. Are not fucking completely useless. useless. I'm just he's, resistant. He's used much of his spells at this point in the battle. He is... As, as you're kind of running around, these are the thoughts... You're a ringer. These are the thoughts that would be happening in Nazla's head, right? Um, he's used a bunch of his spells. He, I, I'm the strongest against him, apparently, due to my necromancy. Um, and, and he's going to begin chasing you. He honestly cannot do much right now. He's going to, again, hold his action uh, as he's about 40 feet from me. What are you doing? That spot, though. I can teleport. Yeah. Oh, you. Actually, time out. I need you to make a deck save for me. Of course. Uh, as nature is going to take its course. Five. I'm rolling like shit, guys. Uh, you're going to take uh, I am now. I am now. three points of bludgeoning damage How many as a rock there? comes crashing out of the side of the cannon and hits you. This is a war of attrition. Who goes down first? Okay. What's going on now? I got the points down. It's your turn. Alright, I'm going to try and cast Firebolt again hmm? on that bracer. Yeah, you need to make a safe throw for me. Oh, should I wait? 15. Come on, guys. Okay. Put Two the fucking saves. good vibes out there, guys. Come on. Teamwork makes the dream Firebolt work. on the bracer. Nope. <laughs> As you miss the firebolt on the bracer, uh, we're gonna kind of go rapid fire on this one here. Uh, he's go. Are you making any more movements? I'm gonna teleport 60 feet away, and I'm gonna do 40 feet of flying. Uh, if you teleport 60 feet away, you're gonna be about right there. I mean, uh, I'm 40 feet of flying. And then, oh, so you're like, Phew. yep. Um, and as you kind of take off, he's gonna turn and just begin chasing yeah, you. He's just, um, he's just trying. And he doesn't so have much he can do at this point. You. He's just, um, he's gotta be gassed. Does he have like a fucking? <laughs> does he have like an endurance rating? Is he getting exhausted yet? The bracer is suddenly easier to hit. He's immune to exhaustion. No, he's just used all of his damn uh, wand spells, and he doesn't have many himself. Um. So as he's like looking like he's just chasing you down to pummel you, um, I guess technically he can be moving his 80 feet because he does 
he can he can take that as an action now instead. He'd still be uh, twenty feet away from me each time. Yeah, he would be. So, ah, uh, and on this one, he would only get to about right there, to be honest. With you. But he, you would start feeling his presence, um, like entering your heat as you're kind of running away from him at this point. Uh, he had a little bit of an angle on you uh, on that one, but you're still outrunning him at this point. You're still outpacing him. What are you doing? You don't even need to run around the map. You can literally just. Um, does she need to do another save? She does need to do another save. Five and fail. Okay. I'm gonna try and fire bolt it, fire, fire bolt it again. Woo! Yes. Twenty-four to hit the bracer. Twenty-four will hit the bracer. Okay. Again, but that only helps the map, though, right? That helps the map. It doesn't necessarily kill. No. It helps the Nineteen roll. points of fire damage. If we break nineteen break points break. of fire damage, All you cast this fire bolt up at Orcus. You watch as it cracks and hits his bracer right where you left that last crack, right where it was at its weak point, and it cracks in half and falls yes! off and hits the Sorry, ground. Um, uh. And Orcus is without his bracers at this time. Uh, it is now going to be laying down in front of you. Uh, What's Orcs' reaction? What's he do? He, he kind of looks down at the bracers and looks at his hands, and that's about the only time you get right now to, to kind of experience Orcus and what he's doing. Um, do you have anything else you want to do? Take your movement. Teleport your... 60, move 40. So this map is about boom, boom. We're just going to continue uh, okay. doing this chase for a minute. Uh, perfect. And then um, he is actually going to... I need you to make your save. Oh god. It's two fails. Two, two and saves. two, man. Next one fucking calls it. I'm going pee. I'm going pee. <laughs> That'll end like your turn. Hour. Next up's going to be Nat. Uh, no. Wait, or yeah, Orcus just went, so he chased you. Because he's about okay. to kill her. Sorry. Lost he's my track here. You went. Orcus went. He chased you. Someone she might. rolled her save. So it's you once more. Okay, I'm gonna firebolt him directly. Your fucking face. Oh god. 26. Uh, 26 will hit. Okay. How's he looking? He's looking rough, uh, but there's a little work to be done, but he's looking rough. 17 points of fire damage. Is he oh. still resistant? So, uh, he is resistant eight, to fire. As you hit him with the fire, uh, you feel that only half of that takes. Um, can we get, can we get a number, Chris? dude? Can we get a number? We don't have all night for this. <laughs> Trust me, I'm gonna get let her take her last. Her last. last. Well, yeah. Either way, right? Okay. Oh, her. I'm gonna teleport 60 feet Too beyond big. him, and then my additional 40 feet. Yeah, you tag your 60 happen. feet um, beyond him, and, and, and then run your other 40 feet for 100, yep. um, and you make it pretty far. Um, as as you hand. kind of run, as the diamonds in your hand, at this point in time, it's about a grapefruit. Um, what did you roll for your last saving I'm show? dead, too. Wait, it says restore life? Nope. <laughs> as your last saving throw falls, and you fall dead in the, in, in the snow, um, just as Nazlith is running by, um, <laughs> and you kind of have a moment to just kind of look at Nazlith as she runs by. You've got a couple seconds to take your last breath. Well, I don't need to breathe, but my hair just... <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, DM, you're wrong. <laughs> my hair just willows down and well, ceases to. It's not breezy anymore. You no, know, it's not breezy, uh, beautiful. As, Nazl beautiful. as Nazlith comes screaming by, we are going to end... What? What the... Just what oh is wrong God. with you? How Our many more do you got? Do you want to... How many more do you got? I'll tell you. <sighs> 20 minutes? Go for it. I'll just sit here. Just it's up to you guys. 20 yeah. minutes. I don't know what else. I will literally go home and stare at the ceiling and be like, I wonder what's going to happen next week. It's up to you guys, honestly. If you're the only one that's going to be right back. Listen, man, you can. So is there are, there? are there elemental effects from the. We're at the point stuff? where it's me and you. I know. We're going to bounce. I right. know. Um, He's really, gonna have a hard you time. You have nothing to do, right? He's gonna have a hard time getting you at this point. I have, I have something I can do, but there's some things that. I'm not close enough. 
Some things have to happen. Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay. So what's you going just, on? You could just you could just roll out. like a um, So as you kind of roll away, here is how we are going to play this out. Is my he is going to make his because I think this is about the closest he's going to get to you in a while. Um, he's going to take his last spell he has. Um, Uh, he's going to take his, since we're back, um, he's going to take his last, well, it's not even a last spell, it's his cantrip. He's going to chill touch you. Okay. Um, so as he throws his chill touch, let me roll. Oh, Eighteen. To hit? Yeah. yeah. Shield? Oh. Oh, wait. Hold on. Okay. No. I am going to do Hellish Rebuke, though. I'm going to pull out my scroll and Hellish Rebuke your shit. Okay. So as he throws um, a chill touch your way, um, what's Hellish Rebuke do? You point your finger and the creature that damaged you is momentarily surrounded by Hellish Flames. The creature must make a dexterity saving throw. Takes 2d10 fire damage on a failed save or half as much on a successful one. He rolled a nat one. Oh, okay. Wait, doesn't that uh, higher levels? What level is that spell at? A third level. You still take the damage from the spell he cast on you, right? Yeah. Well, okay. how much did he cast on me? Um, Seventeen. Okay. Yeah. Seventeen. Okay. You add two levels, so you get two more d10s, so forty ten. Oh, forty ten. Yeah. Cool. Okay, how 40, much damage? 10? No, yeah, 40. 40. Sorry. Zero, one, zero? Yep. I rolled the wrong amount of dice. Uh, he's going to do 3 damage on you, Jesus. Is that taking my resistance into account? No. So, so it's 1? One? Yeah. 1 point of damage. I one point, that, this is why I'm not using this spell on her, because I'm like, uh, this is sure, sure. useless. Okay, uh, so sure. I'm rolling, you failed. So, wait, um, no, no. Okay, so if you failed, you get more damage for that? Roll your damage. Okay, <laughs> okay so. I'll play something up. That's what's going to beat Orcus single-handed. <laughs> 22 points of um, fire damage. Fire damage, hell yeah. 11. Uh, so down to 11 points of damage. Um, as you begin, and I'm assuming you're going to take your movement again, your other 100 feet. Just keep, yep. keep going. Until I run out of um, Yeah, so basically what Orcus is going to do is he's going to try to pin you. Wait, I didn't, well, okay. Didn't dash. Then I didn't attack yeah, yet. Yeah, he's dashing. To it. That was my Still reaction. Can I attack him then? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Sorry, Definitely. we're getting a little... No, 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 no yeah, yeah, sorry. Okay. So I'm going to try and firebolt him again. Definitely. That one. I don't even know what I know. That one. As you cast that fireball, um, it just goes right underneath him. Something happened. You're not sure. <laughs> not your best fireball. Uh, it hits food down. As you begin, oh, 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 as you begin taking off... Um, <laughs> You're 100 feet to the corner. He's going to take his 80 feet okay. um, and kind of get you to a point where maybe he can trap you. <laughs> he's going to do his best. Uh, but he's still holding He's holding his melee action. What else? Firebolt again. Yeah. Uh, 20. Not enough. So 20 hits him, right? Yeah. Um, without his bracers, yes. Especially. What? Wait, oh. Wait, oh, then I need to definitely make sure I'm telling you my hits, then. Yes, you do. 18 points of fire damage. Uh, so down to nine. Oh my god, guys. I fuck, I'm gonna take the biggest shit. <laughs> Not right now, Trust but like, it's, it's, This is so mean. stressful. You can drop it that fast. And as you <laughs> hit him oh, with this one, and the flame hits seconds. him, you manage to hit him directly in the chest, the same hole that Boudownik left. Um, the same hole that Emberly has hit with, uh, or sorry, that Willow has hit with her spell. Um, you Even managed to crash tip. that spell right into his chest again. Um, he's still up, but you can tell oh. that that one impacted him. He is starting for the first time. You made him like, ugh, ugh, and he's kind of coming at you, um, lumbering. Um, Hundred feet that way. God, dude. If you stay towards the corner, he can't catch you. Why is that? Because he's of... at an angle where if you come here, that's about 80 feet for him. Oh, okay. You know what I mean? So if you stay in that corner, he can only get to about here for okay. you. Okay. Um, 
as you're kind of now trapped in this corner, uh, you are in a plummet of snow. Oh, he's approaching you with his. Uh, he's approaching you with his big ass wand, getting ready to swat down on you. Uh, what are you doing? I'm gonna try and fireball him again. Not 20. Yes! Oh, 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 oh. Fucking finish his ass, dude. Finish his ass. Finish his Thank fucking you. ass. Finish his ass. Right here, right now. Okay. Be the fucking savior of the universe. Be the person they build fucking monuments for. Be the person they fucking tell about in school. Be the person they make paintings of. Uh, pray. 135 beats per minute. 32 points of damage. The fire. So what's that? 16. 16. So basically just, she has to crit to do a neutral attack. Jeez, (laughs) yeah, right? Um, And as you hit him again in that chest, you open up his wound even more. You watch as his flesh, it's a very gelatin, rotten, disgusting meat, begins to burn away. And you finally see the shell of him, the skeleton of him. You start to see... um, his chest open up and a couple ribs begin to show as he kind of leans down and begins to come at you. What are you? you I'm going to teleport behind him again. You teleport. 100 feet. You're 60 feet and begin sprinting. Um, flying, flying the remaining 40. Flying the remaining 40 feet. Um, from that point, he can get within melee of you. No, no, way. no, he cannot. There's no, no way. he cannot. Um, straight line, straight 10, line. 10, 10. Well, he, he has 80 feet of movement without taking his action. Right? How so far away was she in the beginning? She was 15 feet in... Or, I'm sorry, she was... Yeah, she was... Fi- but I would have gone 100 straight back. Correct. So there's nothing blocking me from Correct. going 100. So 85. So he can only get... Well, I guess it depends on what his range is. So you, he was 20 Ten. feet from you. You went your 60. So yeah, if they both Plus go 20. 80, they're at the same. Yeah, they're at the same. Yeah, but so he had to use his action, action to get within melee of you. He's in melee. To get there. Uh, but he is now in melee with you, and he's looking pretty rough. Uh, and as he's in melee with you... Um, he used his action to dash, partner. He did. Yeah. And as he is in melee with you, uh, you hear in your head... Um, it will be a joy to send you down with your friends. What are you doing? Gonna firebolt him again. That's a disadvantage, isn't it? Not if you teleport first. Uh, yeah. Yeah, you have to teleport. Yeah, I'll teleport first. Teleporting. Teleporting. Uh, I'll do 60 feet first. Nixes. As you take your 60 feet of movement. And then I will firebolt before I do the rest of the Um, You turn. With a blink of an eye, you're 60 feet from him. You turn, you cast your firebolt. Okay. 26 to hit. That hits. I want to cry right now. 14 <laughs> points of fire damage, so seven. God. As you cast this fireball, you blink right out of his direction. Uh, the snow still whirling around you. You barely see his shadow. You cast this fireball. You watch it travel through the air, through the snow, through this windstorm. Um, it's going to crash again, that same wound. Uh, you watch as his chest begins to explode open. You watch as the bones begin to break inside of his chest. His wings begin to fold down and underneath him. He collapses to his knees and mm-hmm. falls mm-hmm. in with mm-hmm. one more breath. Mm-hmm. I will yeah. see you again. Yes! Yes! Oh my god! We fucking did it! And you? Holy shit, guys! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god. Your biggest weakness was movements. As you, <laughs> no shit. Things the deer has taken your cat. Oh my god. Uh, the two scrolls I got from that library. That saved our ass. Oh, dude, here. I can't tell you my heart is just. Fuck out of here. Oh my god, dude. Oh my god. Who would have known the necrotic Oh my god. That's what you needed. Oh my god. You remember when you used to say, like, I'm useless in these fights? You remember when you used to say that? And who got the fucking kill, the kill, the final kill on, like, uh, every single person? You killed Zuckmoid. You killed fucking Bay from it. You yep. threw Hagatha, killed the Draco Lich. You killed this fucker. You literally killed them all. And all as, of them. As you watch this gigantic creature fall to your knees, uh, right in front of you, the plume of smoke, um, you begin to feel a little bit of warmth hit the air. You begin to feel the wind die down. 
just a little bit. You look, you look down <laughs> at your crystal, which has that golden coin on it. And we will pick up there next time. Oh, God. Oh, oh my God, God dude. Oh, I got the so chills. I bring my dice. That was so <laughs> right. <laughs> Look, dude, something's happening characters. with these diamonds. Oh, my God. If you stuck with us that whole time, thank you. That was incredible. Dude, my legs are shaking so bad. I, I can't really, I, I couldn't sit down that whole time. I'm happy I'm standing. Um, wow. <laughs> I'll take some pictures of this. We'll, we'll pick up here next time. Um, next episode next week thank you all for watching this Holy crazy shit. ending to this battle um it encapsulated all three episodes so thank you if you gave up uh and we will see you next tuesday uh to see what <laughs> hey, happens happy birthday in the meantime yeah. thanks yeah. thanks thanks um oof, chills uh we will see what happens next time with your current scene death i have one teleport left Oh my god, dude. Oh my up. fucking oh. god. <laughs> do you want to vent about this for a minute? Is that, do we need to We got fucking time, dude. <laughs> okay. Oh my god. Uh, have a good one, everybody. <laughs>